we've got two new people joining us and this is how we open the shift this we never do this we never ever open the shift like that never it's ever always ever professional. <laughs> always, it's professional. always except, except for all the other times we do oh please save you we both know it's not i've got the recordings to prove it <laughs> lies all lies they're all doctored right uh let's see two i see the shift is commander zanster um, personnel officers are Lieutenant Pierce and Lieutenant Rainbow. You've got extra work cut out for you, although I'm sure Tetra will help on this one. Um, as you've got uh, fresh meat. Where would you get an odd idea like that? Fresh meat? <laughs> and while I do want to real fresh. While, while Xavier does sound very trending, he's very fluffy on the inside. Oh, I can. <laughs> no, I, thought say he's, I thought you were going to say he's very fluffy. Right. Well, that too. It's so fluffy, I'm going to die! <laughs> no, that's, that's when I'm trying to peel the cat, cats off me. Let's make a start properly. Uh, Commander Zanz. All right. Officers of the Terran Stellar Navy's 2nd Space Fleet, 4th Light Division, report in. Lieutenant Commander Draco reporting in. Lieutenant Senior Trivian reporting in. Lieutenant Senior Vimes reporting in. Lieutenant Tetra reporting in. Lieutenant Intendant Huey reporting in. Lieutenant Racer Blurry reporting in. Lieutenant Pierce reporting in. Lieutenant Rainbow reporting in. Acting Ensign Bart reporting in. Cadet Yoyo reporting in. Cadet Noah reporting in. That makes 15 officers, assuming that we think that Fortis One is joining. He just came Lieutenant back to his Swan, computer. Report again. There he is. <laughs> so it actually makes confirmed 15 officers. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we have any updates from uh, Oni regarding our current situation before we move sir, into Sir, yes, sir. Go ahead. At least... It hasn't been asked, but I'm just going to assume this is my job now. Uh, <laughs> Admiral Shewok and Oni have pulled together their resources and intelligence, so please let it be clear that Oni does have some. To our intelligence, luck, that is, not resources, right? Yeah, intelligence, that is. I believe it's spelled wrong in the script. Uh, to our luck, <laughs> the good doctor was very organized, and his research did not die with him. We were able to upgrade the TSN tag to emit a counteracting pulse. Think of an EMP for Caltron-generated black holes. For simplicity, they are called Caltron disruptors. They're fairly easy to use. You shoot at a black hole, and within an hour, poof, it's gone. Uh, the disruptor does need to be activated by CIC, and you will only have a minute to fire it once activated, or it will deactivate. As we decided last week, we are going on the offensive. Uh, Admiral Shewok will prepare his fleet to mount an offensive against the Caltron in Sector 6. While he does that, the Fort Light Division will be deployed for a special mission. And afterwards, we will join Shewok's fleet to mount our final assault on Sector 6, the Caltron stronghold. If all goes well, the Caltron will cease to exist in the Uvini Expanse, and we can focus on returning to the present. That includes the intelligence report. All right. So, upcoming missions, fry Caltrons. Excellent. Oh, no. Sorry. Fly Caltron black holes. Excellent. All right. Um, there was also an announcement that uh, Lieutenant Commander Draco wanted to make regarding his crew. That is true. I am pleased to announce that I have selected the new executive officer for the Horizon, and that will be Lieutenant Pierce. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very oh, much, sir. Congratulations. Well done. Done good. I okay. think Pierce will beat out hundreds of applicants. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It we will do take still about... have a vacancy. We do still have a vacancy, by the way. It will. It will take about seven thousand years to process that um, paperwork properly. Uh, mm. but for now. 
fair enough. All right. Um, next up, we are going to have a test of new command systems going on during channel, the first simulation, and that's what they think about that. Um, in the and. At the same time, we'll also be running a normal simulation at Lieutenant Rainbow. Uh, there he is. Okay, left, I thought you might have been the user that timed out then. Um, Lieutenant Rainbow will be running user the channel. simulation. Uh, those taking part in the new command system um, test will go to... We'll, let's go to Beefing Room 2, and we'll run it there. User entered your channel. Where's Sandstar? There's too many Donovans, I would like to say. Uh, Sandstar uh, dropped his connection. Oh, there he is. User in your oh, channel right. timed out. Oh no. <laughs> it's I a good day. Uh, clone that my function. Okay, Commander Sandstar, have you managed to settle down walking in and out the door? Oh well, it's uh, yeah, it's talk to my uh, command codes, also known as Teamspeak. <laughs> okay, I will leave uh, you, Commander Dancer, to organize with personnel officers the crews on two ships and uh, Lieutenant Rainbow to coordinate that uh, simulation. And then uh, the officers taking part in the uh, new command systems test if you head to briefing room two. Uh, I believe that will be Tivian, Pierce, Chorus, and Draco. Mm hmm. Correct. And we may also have a Vimes joining us. Rainbow, would you be... Yeah. Uh... Those of you that are um, doing the simulation, please go ahead and move to briefing room two so that we can assess the remainder for the simulation. Rainbow, can you take the personnel yeah. duties for this one? Yeah, thank yeah. you. All right. What if they want to beta test the new system? Yeah, let's, I would suggest that you not go there. Mr. Donovan, are you with us in the opening simulation? I hope to be. I'm having... You're not the only one. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to run um, Scorpion and Lancer. All officers are permanent assignments to Scorpion and Lancer. Please report there now. I defer to your greater judgment. Just let us know what you decide. Let the personnel and officer in particular know. Oh, for now, everyone head down there. Uh, I'm unsure. I'm not refusing to your help. It'd be nice. Thanks. Yeah. Did you sit them? Server did you sit assigned. them through the training videos? Oh. That'll do. Okay. Anyone with permanent assignment to Lancer or Scorpion, please go there now. Lancer. Um, Cadet, I'll be putting your boat on Scorpion with Commander Zenst. Uh, uh, you need help getting there, or you want me to move you? I think I got it. Awesome. Yeah, it's just. It's called, uh, this additional name is called S3 TS and Scorpion. Yeah, you can move there now if you want. Can I be weapons since it's my uh, first time? Uh, you'll have to talk with Zenso, but I'm sure that's no problem. Oh, you're still here, Tetra? Okay, I was going to move you because I thought you were down there.
Welcome. So does that mean you're strictly observing, or are you going to take a station? Okay. Right, you can always you know, talk into the cadet's mic if you're over their shoulder. Alrighty. Welcome aboard, Cadet Jojo, Cadet Noah. Thanks. Mr. Vimes, would you do the honors of being the executive officer? Certainly, sir. I believe, Jojo, you'd uh, expressed an interest in weapons? Yes, I did. Then, uh, by all means, take the weapons console. Have, uh, well, I'm sure Tetra will be able to help you with the command codes, etc. in a moment. Uh, Cadet Noah, what uh, station would you prefer to...? I would honestly prefer engineering. Ooh, daring. Daring. Go right ahead, take engineering, and uh, we'll see how things go. That leaves me... With Helm, I guess. Uh, assuming we don't get any more, which we won't. Wow, we have more people than I thought. Oh no, that's I'm looking at the wrong briefing room. So I see briefing room one is empty. So this is going to be the extent of our crew complement today. Yep, that leaves you with uh, Psycom, sir. Very good. All right, it is a standard procedure for us to do a console roll call, which the executive officer will kick off. We start with Helm and we just say, are you ready? Which means, have you done everything to connect to the server, connect to the correct ship, which we are the Scorpion, and connect to your appropriate console and click the ready to play button. So Mr. Vimes, if you would please. All stations, please report in. Helm is standing by. Weapons? Weapons are standing by. Engineering? Engineering is standing by. And SICOM's captain? SICOM's captain fighter shuttle is standing by. Sir, the ship is ready to depart. Right. Well, let's see if I can raise what I assume is the uh, head of the fleet and let him know we're ready. To Lancer. <coughs> Did Lancer reply back? I didn't hear him. I heard Testing. something garbled. I wouldn't say you're barely coming through. All right, let's try this again. Scorpion to Lancer. Come in, Lancer. Lancer responding. Excellent. Scorpion is ready to sting our enemies that dare approach us. Why are you reporting that to me, Acting Division Commander? Ah, well... I didn't see the acting division commander tag on anybody. So if I'm the acting division commander, I will take that ad hoc promotion and ask you whether you're ready or not.
Lancer Scorpion. Go ahead, Lancer. Scorpion Lancer is ready to poke him with the pointy hand. Very good, Lancer. Are you uh, manning the big red button, or should I do that? All ships, this is the fleet commander. Double check the ship that you're actually connected to to make sure that you are not connected to the horizon. You are only connected to either Scorpion or to Lancer. Thank you. We now return you to your regularly scheduled fleet operations. Ship systems coming online. Science, comms, fighter are in. CIC. Uh, or flight, we're reading uh, enemy signatures coming from the Chronic Unit. Uh, we expect a sector to be attacked. Your mission will be to defend this sector. Acknowledge. All ships form up on Scorpion. Take us to Chronos Gate, Helm. Chronos Gate, I. Engineer, I'm going to call for a high energy turn in a minute, so if you could spike maneuvering when I say so. Uh, engineering is currently starting its um, uh, Artemis climb because it crashed. Oh dear. Okay, dokie. Okay. I don't think that's what I can solve. I do. Have you managed to climb yourself? Indeed, indeed. Oh, this is a, a remote control. Now, stand off about 10k from the Cronus Gate, please. Near uh, weapon 556. Let's go. And engineer, we should be ready now. Yeah, we're in a proximal lean position. Yeah. Right. Scorpion Lancer. Go ahead. Please do a flyby on that Bravo group. <laughs> Followed by the Alpha group. All right, it's engage Bravo Group. Lancer, you have responsibility for Alpha Group. Alpha Group acknowledged. All right, so we're going to go in. We're going to take a shot at Bravo 3-3 with our beams to make sure that we have the attention of this fleet. Like we do. And then Helm is going to gather them up. And we're going to shoot them one at a time with our beams. This is what we call a Delta II operation. Helm, you're welcome to pick them off singly rather than trying to take them on in all their B marks. Understood. Uh, can I have a boost of maneuvering, please? Thank you. On bearing. So I recommend I'm going to engineering to engineering beams at 250% at least. Incoming drone. Uh, weapons, you can shoot those brown arrows down. It's usually a better idea to shoot the drones rather than let them hit the ship. 
That just means weapons has to change targets frequently. All right, go evasive. Put us on the other side of the nearby minefield. Test it. New contacts. Have a high energy turn. turn. Go engage the echo group. Go contract dead ahead. Rayans. Weapons load up Omega 3, which is an EMP and a nuke. Loading. Maintaining evasive posture. An excellent choice. EMP is ready. All right. Um, Fire when ready. Neither one of these are anti-torpedo. Be prepared to follow up with the nuke. Who is the target? Uh, the tar You've got a good selected target. You can just launch. But there are two ships. It, yeah, but it was it was great while they are together. Now that they're not together, just pick it one. Yeah, EMPs and nukes have an area of effect. Uh, your target is good. Launch EMP, followed immediately by the nuke. Thank you. Yeah, he telebacked, so the nuke hit his neighbor dead. All right, let's go after Echo 82 with beams. Your frequency is Charlie Charlie. Uh, hi, as you turn, please. I've messed that up big time. Echo 82 is okay. further south. Echo 02 and Echo 82 have teleback. Going after 82 whilst they're alone. Apologies, weapons. I'm. Oh, no, they've tell you back again. Uh, I don't see him anymore. Maybe ah. you destroyed him. Yep, so, turning about for Foxtrot 5 Niner. Foxtrot 5 Niner is anti torp. So, it's just beams for these guys. No torpedoes. Uh, Fine, as you turn, please. And please I'm on target. Boost the beams. Patrick Scorpion. Go ahead. We are mine dry. Alpha is neutralized. Do you need assistance with the scares? I recommend you go after Echo 82. They have been EMP'd and they have teleback. Okay, going evasive, we've got minimal shields now. Good call. See if you can go evasive on the other side of a minefield. Go ahead and uh, head for Golf 48, dock up. We have incoming enemies at that location. All right, heading for Golf 48 for dock. Dive a shot. Drone. Inbound drone. So weapons, if you could target the uh, brown arrow. Heading for us. Oh, DS-2012, got it. And we're docked. All right, engineering, please provide a damage report. No damage. Very good. Weapons, please provide an ordnance report.
That's that. How many torpedoes we have of the varying types? All right, Undock, take us to Charlie Zero Five. We need to engage. They're shooting down the station. Going about. Ooh, this is the a attack mess. pattern is Delta Three. That means beams and torpedoes. I will fire. I think we're firing. Uh, check your right. target. That's weapons. not a That's valid friendly. target. Make sure you highlight the red targets. There you go. Uh, stop yeah, shooting them because with. those are our friends. The target is to just click off of them. Let's go help Lancer. Take out Echo 82. Uh, course, please. Course 270. 270, right? Of course, not directly into the minefield. Lancer Scorpion. Go ahead. Scarens are neutralized. We're going to dock back up. Acknowledged. Stand here and fuel collect. Let's lower the shields and we'll go at the correct speed and we can start picking up fuel. Uh, so, weapons shields is generally your responsibility, although I do have a backup control. Shields are lowered. We have fuel collection speed. And energy coming on board. Are we fuel collecting yet? We are. Oh, good. Engineering, can you give us a boost to sensors, please? Sensors boosted. Thank you. Oh, Arvonians. Isn't that great? Let's load up a couple of mines. Energy status. Mines are loading. And it's still out 900. Mines are ready. All right, let's go see if we can get the uh, group of fighters that are attacking our friendlies. Actually, they're coming our way. Let's see if we can just have them run into the mines. <laughs> That's a scorpion. Oh, not, not so go work. ahead. We've got a direct. Vector to Whiskey Zero Eight and uh, Bravo Three. Those are the Arbonians. Good hit, engineer. That weapons. Blech. Thanks. Acknowledge joining you, leaving the Kralian transport. Coming about for incoming drones. Fleet to CIC. Go ahead, Fortnite. Do we have any intelligence on the Whiskey Zero Eight freighter approaching our base? Uh, negative. Uh, all that we know is that it is a Karelian hostile approaching our base. Uh, we are skeptical of its uh, intentions. Acknowledge. Lancer, go allay CIC skepticism and find out what that freighter is up to. Acknowledged. Delta 3 on Victor 2-2. Two, two. That's beams and torpedoes. All right, dock us up at Golf 48. Golf 48, I. Uh, 
I hope those allies are going to change course. I hope they change course too. But, you know, some of these pilots are stupid. And looks like we've got a bunch of stupid pilots. They're going to kill themselves on the mines. Fleet to CIC. Go ahead. I recommend that the USFP hire better pilots for our friendly forces because they just killed themselves on a bunch of mines. Uh, yes, it appears that the uh, simulation had a bug in it. Uh, all of our pilots appear to be swans. Uh, our apologies. Uh, engineering damage report. No damage reported. Weapons ordnance report. We are down one torpedo and one mine, but they're both loaded. Excellent. I'm going to ask for a sensor boost again. And I apologize if I forget to, take, to ask you to take things down. It's just when we don't need them anymore, I hope you'll just take them down when you see that we're not using them. Uh, sure, sensors are boosted. Excellent. Take us to the Cronus Gate again. Get a proximity pass on these ships. Looks like it's just Kralians. Aye, sir. Go ahead and put a mine in the tube. I would put two. One mine is ready. Yep, doing a reconnaissance run. Repeated tubes are boosted. All right, we're going to do an Echo 2 run on this group. That means, the Echo means that we're going to be dropping mines. Echo 2 means that we're going to be dropping two mines. This is a coordination between Helm and Weapons, where Helm will call the drop by saying drop, and that's where you drop one, and then he'll say drop again. That's where you drop the second one. So Helm and Weapons, you have tactical control of the ship. Ready, Weapons? A verbal acknowledgement is usually called for when asked if you're ready or not. Sorry, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Drop one. Drop two. Nicely done. About. Let's come about and pick up the uh, enemies whose shields are largely gone and destroy them with beams. Maneuvering for Delta 4-5. Two drones coming in. And you can't just shoot drones. You have to sort of balance your targeting between actual ships and drones. Okay. Lancer Scorpion. Go ahead. We took care of that mine out. laying transport and his mines. Do you require assistance? Yes, please. Join full us pass in post, please. See what other kind of trouble we can get into. Load up two more mines. Loading. Board shields are fading, going evasive. When we, if we start taking significant amounts of damage. Formation is Lambda Heavy. Scorpion is about moving, to please. do a mine run. Oh, never mind. When you're ready, Mine's are ready. That's a Scorpion. We're backing off. Commencing run. Up one. Two. All right, back to uh, Charlie formation. Let's just go clean them up. Uh, we Come have about. significant damage. Uh, uh, we we thought the order was going to be Sigma. We've got a mine ray. Oh, primary beam and then front shield destroyed. Go. 
stand ev stand evasive because Lancer's going to do a mine run. All right, come about. Let's clean up with beams. Uh, engineering, do we actually have beams at this point? Unfortunately, no. Well, then. Scorpion to Lancer. Go ahead, Scorpion. Be advised, our beams are significantly damaged, so we're going to leave clean up to you. Going to full reverse. Do we have any mines left? We have two mines left, one loaded. All right, let's load another one and see if we can pick off these fighters. Scorpion, a Lancer. I'll group them up first. Go ahead, Scorpion. I'm going to give you the uh, mine sweeper to take care of. We're going to see if we can mine these uh, fighters. Acknowledge, we'll give you some space. I have no idea what these fighters are doing. I don't know what these fighters are doing either. Do what you can to round them up and call the drop whenever you're ready. They are completely ignoring us. Right, one group has either gone bingo or is starting to go after um, Lancer. Okay, well, if they're going to do a Congo line, um, we'll take them one at a time from the rear. That's what I was about to suggest. Beams, Delta 2. Nearest target, please. My energy 10, please. Thank you. Done with maneuvering. Uh, primary beams are boosted. Uh, help at 100%. Coming about again. Energy is low. No, Thank you, Scorpion. Go ahead. We're assisting with the station defense. Very good. Yes, you have replied. Apologies for the. Um, Energy 10, split, please. But the Victor group is an ally fleet. Fleet to CIC. The Victor group is not acting like an ally fleet. A, they're red, and B, they're shooting down stuff. This is why we uh, informed you of the system glitch. Being repaired. Does such repair include. Uh, Restoring the station that the Victor fleet destroyed. Uh, to those were actually the fighters destroyed that. I have a question. And that she had 150. Yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, do we, what do we have in the tubes? Two mines. Let's see if we can mine Sierra 66. Weapons, are you ready? Ready. I'm call it. Go. I request for converting torpedoes to energy. We're under 100 in energy. How many torpedoes? How many torpedoes do we have? Ten. The cheap below right. fifty. Convert half of our torpedoes. There's a uh, torpedo to energy button you're looking for. They have it. Excellent. 
We used one mine. All right, let's see if we can use the second one and get all three of these together at once. Okie dokie. Lancer Scorpion. Go ahead, Lancer. We've been smacked across the face with a gauntlet and been told that there's something in Alpha 5 awaiting us. Go repair your dignity. We'll see if we can pick this one up. And it should be a 50. Ready weapons? Ready. And the chippy load 10. No, it's... Drop, drop, drop. Zero energy. Uh, Alright, dock us up. We are out of mines. Understood. Going to fuel collection to get a couple of ticks of energy. Could also get a battery. Hmm. Yes, please. That would I, be faster. If if we have torpedoes left, go ahead and convert half of them, or convert the rest of them. Let's go over to the base. All right. We have a chicken. Thanks. Making way. No system damage reported. Very good. I try, I assume you will tell our cadets about getting energy and torpedoes. Weapons are completely re reloaded. Energy status? Full. All right, let's go help it, Lancer. That is bearing 31. Scorpion to Lancer. Oh, it looks like they took care of Go ahead, of Scorpion. I was going to ask if you used some help, but obviously you don't. Scorpion, that's a negative. We uh, kind of rubbed Horizon's face in it by taking it down with torps. <laughs> All that while Horizon is not here. We also destroyed a scorpion and a, a saber. Lancer to scorpion, there can be only one. See, I see the speed. Go ahead, CIC. Speaking of there can only be one, there are many of the ones approaching from Chronosgate. Acknowledge. Lancer, join us near the Chronos Gate, please. Can we get a boost of sensors? Sensors boosted. All right, let's do a uh, sensor pass on this group. I think they're all going to be TS in Valkyrie class, which for those of you in the know or not in the know, uh, that's the equivalent of Horizon. How should I load the tubes? Uh, let's do Omega-3, which is one EMP and one nuke. Stay evasive for now. As soon as you get the uh, EMP and nuke loaded, choose the middle of the group and launch. Uh, science target. Launch. Yes, if you've got it, launch. I think they've gone to warp. 
Sorry, Lance, sorry, I missed that. Repeat. Load another Omega-3. Scorpion, we're just approaching your combat location. Very good. We're going to do heavies again on the thickest batch we can find. That's just Scorpion. We're ready for Echo 1. Firing? Go ahead and take it. No, stand by. Lancer, do it. Oh. <laughs> and this is why using proper terminology is important. Sorry about that, Lancer. You almost got caught in our heavies. Uh, our weapons officer triggered those a bit early. To be fair, you, right. be fair, you did say shocks. take it. I think we can do that for <laughs> Indigo 72 on the back at Hotel 01. Until that time, stay evasive. Let me know when they're loaded. They don't appear to be actually firing, or if they are, they're being very weak about it. Yeah, you can... You can make the horizon an AI ship, but uh Dr. Scorpion, we're gonna fire an EMP at Bravo two two, try to get the rest of their shields down. Acknowledge, go ahead. Do we have the P shocks loaded? Sorry, what about the P shocks? Do we have the P-Shocks loaded in the tubes? I will load them now. Okay. Actually, yeah, that'll be fine. So the intent is to use the P-Shock on Hotel 01 on their rear shields. Requires some coordination with Helm. That's just Carpenter. We've got another EMP. We're going to let them leave, run into it. Very good. Stand by until Lancer shoots, which they just did. Any weapons? Yes, yeah, you're going to have to fire two P shocks. Hotel zero one because the rear shields have been restored. Firing. Yep. Very good. Try that same procedure on Charlie twelve. So they make it P shock and torpedo. My apologies if you already started the tube load process. Boost tubes. Tubes boosted. I have uh, two P-Sharks now ready. Should I... Unload one, put in a torpedo in its place. Ready? All right, so the order is... Torpedo followed by P shock. Launch when ready. Very good. Same procedure. Torpedo P shock. I'll give you a target in a minute. Make that uh, Echo 60. We Fox 29 for Lancer. Fire when ready. Those are not heavies. All right, Doc is on. CIC to four flight. Go ahead, CIC. Uh, we are going to wrap things up here now, unless you want to partake in a PvP to see if Lancer is seriously the better ship. It's not. We will let Lancer continue to believe what it wants to believe. We can wrap up. No damage reported. Excellent. Which you damaged? Very well, we are wrapping things up. 
All right. So after uh, a simulation or mission, we have what we call a debrief where we talk about the mission, things that we could improve on, things that went well. Uh, for cadets, I think you did excellent. Um, in general, I think the mission went very well. We didn't get blown up, which is always good. Did someone join? Oh, Rainbow joined. <laughs> trying to figure out who was it that just joined the channel. <laughs> um, I'm trying to be sneaky and listen in. Yeah, sometimes that doesn't work very well. So, with that said, I'm going to turn it over to the other officers and uh, ask for their feedback on my commands as well as their fellow officers. Mr. Vimes. Uh, thank you. I think. Uh... Overall, it went well. Um, it's always a bit tricky when normal culture and new people are around. Um, that's just what it is. Um, I would, on your um, feedback, sir, I would suggest being or trying to be a bit more specific on things like fire. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it worked fairly well. Um, cadets, excellent job, especially if you've only played a few games or uh, not, as the case may be. Um, well done. Thank Thanks a lot. lot. All right. Thank you, Mr. Vimes. I will uh, see if I can be a bit more specific. I, uh, I fully admit that I'm used to having experienced officers on board, and so I try to um, give a lot more leeway to my officers to do the things that need to be done. So with cadets on board, I'll see if I can be a bit more specific. Um, Mr. Rainbow, since you happened to join the ship, what did you think of the overall mission? Considering that there was no primers and I was just throwing things at you, I would like to rebuttal and say, how did you think it went? All right. Uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Cadet Jojo. Do you have anything that you would like to say about me being a commanding officer or your fellow crew to uh, to commend them or to ask for particular feedback or particular um, actions on their part to make operating the ship a little easier? Well, I have to say uh, this was my first round ever. Um, so I was mostly very confused. Uh, I, I think it would have helped me to know when I should uh, load something adv in advance or if I should always like then reload the same thing uh, in default. But I think all in all it went quite well. So thanks for that. Yeah, that's essentially what Mr. Vines was telling me. I needed to be more specific about what to do. And my apologies, I I just didn't get out, give out enough information. All right, Cadet Noah, what do you have to say for my command style as well as your fellow crew? Um, I think it worked well for me. Uh, I tried to boost the system which were actually in use. If it would have been the wrong um, systems, I would have needed some feedback, but I think it overall went uh, pretty well. Very good. As an observer, Lieutenant Tetra, what did you think of your cadets, your commanding officer, etc.? I don't think she's paying attention right now. I heard a whole bunch yeah, of people Yeah, I'm sorry. Talking. There were a bunch of people here asking me stuff IRL. But can you repeat what you were saying? I'm just looking for a debrief from you for me and for your crew. Um, I, I think you handled well uh, with an unfamiliar crew. I know that's always a channel. Uh, challenge. I cannot speak anymore. <laughs> uh, from what I've seen uh, the cadets doing here, I think uh, it went pretty well. And... Uh, there are two more cadets coming, so let's Excellent. go. Is one of them Excellent. cadet cadet? <laughs> uh, the rename is pending, but yes, that's going to be one of them. Awesome. So I'll be setting up headsets and stuff and getting them properly connected to TeamSpeak, and then uh, we can get this party started again. Excellent. Uh, break is for 10 minutes. We'll come back at 10 past the hour. You were all dismissed until that time. Uh, can, can someone move my main account into the AFK channel because I'm still streaming from, from my other PC? Yeah, I can I'm do that. Brilliant. Thank you.
There you go. Do you also need number three to be moved here? No, the rest will sort out ourselves. I have a random uh, assorted cadet accounts that I'm still working on, but proceed. <laughs> cadet Tetra. I love that. Uh, so, Cadet Tetra, I'm afraid the uh, ribbon rack has been broken again. Yeah, thank you for informing me. We will sort it out soon. Okay, guess how many them. guess how many crashes we had had with the new command systems? Zero. <laughs> That's the damn it. <laughs> no. Excellent. Not crashes. Crash. Not applicable. <laughs> None. How no many things got, you found broken though? We found some bugs. What? Did you... Oh. There was one or two little things, but none of them crashed. And it's mines, more... Mines are not visible, nor do they explode. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. No crashes. It was more stable than Atoms. Two. <laughs> Say again, please. I'm missing Yo-Yo. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, Cadet Yo-Yo is signing out for today. Uh, but we're going to set up Cadet uh, Lars and Cadet uh, Jonas. So expect those to arrive here soon. I'm sorry, Tetri. Right. You allowed a cadet to walk away from their console. They held a gunpoint. Why do you we... think Tetra was uh, uh, demoted to cadet? We gave you money for handcuffs. What were you using those handcuffs for? We don't want to know. You really don't want to know, Captain Savage. Do I need to check the receipt to make sure they're not fluffy? Uh, uh, um, I will get you back to you on that. She, oh. what, are you, what are you talking about, David? You, we all know she borrowed your fluffy handcuffs. <laughs> May I remind some of the officers that we are a family-friendly channel? Thank you. That's not family-friendly, but fluffy. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. Um, we have our opening mission, uh, Commander Zanster. Uh, you have the briefing. I do. It is time to put the Caltron disruptors to the test by taking care of the final black holes in the system. We will head to sectors 11, 12, and 1. These are the final Caltron holdings. The Unical High did a number on them, allowing us to punch a hole in their defenses if all goes well. I guess the Unical High were useful. Once you are in the designated sector, CIC will arm the Caltron EMPs. They are attached to tags. You will have some extra, and you will shoot them. So, what ship should these special tags be loaded on? This is a decision that we have to make here in the middle of the briefing. Perseus. Huh? Well, <laughs> since we have Draco, I, I would suggest the Horizon, since we're the uh, long-range combat vessel. I would have suggested Lancer for the greater ability to dive in, deploy the thing, and get out. Well, that's a good one, just too. Stop that does make sense. Greater ability. You keep telling yourself that. BSC defers to the fleet captain as to which ship is going to get those. So I hear two arguments. One is the crew with the experience of long-range combat. Uh, two is the crew with the fast ship. Yeah, basically. Let's load them on Sabre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no. um... Truly spoken like a fleet captain. <laughs> How, what is the range on these, this deployable gadget? They're the same as the range for tags. About 5k. And if there's a ship too close and they mess up, 
what happens to that ship. The space-time continuum will be ripped in half and everyone will be destroyed. No, I don't think that's... I think that's the extreme example. We'll give right. them to Lancer then. <laughs> this is definitely sounding like a good argument for Lancer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was a good argument for Scorpion. We've uh, had our... Scorpion time. already blows up enough. Yeah, uh, a reminder that once these tags are activated, you only have a minute to fire them. So being on a quick ship could be advantageous. I haven't gotten to that p bit of the briefing yet. It was in the um, intel report. Yes, you mentioned it. I mean, well, Horizon's had a good run. I think Horizon could have them. Let's go with Horizon. Let's make all it right. Horizon it is. All right, and, and a reminder that uh, Rainbow just reminded Reminded everyone, but I'm going to again because it's in my script. The Caltron disruptors will not take effect right away, and it takes a minute to fire them. You have under a minute to fire them once you once they, they are prepared. Uh, black hole will remain active for some time, and the Caltron will still be able to use them to travel. And finally, I hope it does not come as a surprise that we expect Caltron will attempt to stop us from our activities. And uh. Shirak is expecting us to clear these sectors. Failure is an option. We are also to avoid Sector 6, which is where Admiral Shiwak is gathering, and we don't need to have this party there. Will we have the grant? Um, the grant may be available, depending on circumstances. So uh, se Sector 6? Avoid Sector 6. Avoid. We're going to clear out the uh, black holes on Sectors 11, 12, and one. Oh, when you one go, is on well, the other side one. of sector six. When you go to sector one, just stay away from sector six on your way. I assume you're st we're still in Euphemi. Yeah, we've been living in Euphemi for the past month or so. Blur has been living in the shuttle years. for the past month or so. So. Yeah, somebody needs to clean that thing out. All right. Um, and a can I borrow a few cadets? Let's run Lancer, Horizon, and Seymour. All right. Anybody with a permanent assignment to Seymour, Horizon, or Lancer, please head there now. Otherwise, please stay here. All right. Um, Chetra, do I need to drag you? Your main account, I mean. I'm going to assume that's a yes. Rainbow, would you uh, release the game commander, please? The game master. <laughs> I suppose I could, since you asked so nicely. It's released. Thank you. And of course, supper is ready just now. Welcome to the TSN Saber. Yeah, all sh ships. I just heard. I just heard whoever asked for a comms check. All right. Where would all of our cadets like to be? Jonas, Lars, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, tell us which station you want. Thank you, Saber. Which roles would you like to play in? Uh, for example, weapons or science or engineering? The only role I've ever done once is science, but I'm open to anything. The you can only... have science. Go ahead. Uh, the only option I've done is uh, hey, weapons. Gone, so, we are ready. Uh, so I can also do weapons again, if you want to. Right to answer. So from what I'm hearing, Lars takes weapons. Jonas takes time. 
Sure. You, you can assign Sounds me fine. wherever except Helm. I can't do Helm today. Vetron Helm. <laughs> you're lost. Are... You're lost. <laughs> uh, Tetra, please take engineering. I shall take engineering. And then when everyone is ready, please let me know. Helm is ready. Uh, Kathleen, can you please take comms? Yep. There won't be anything, but... You say that, but... This is Zen Strong Command. Yeah. <laughs> Saber, this is Horizon. Horizon, this is Saber, go ahead. Yui wants to get off his leash. Please give him an opportunity. We're ready. Maybe we should have went to uh, Horizon for the um, cadet restraint. <laughs> they have many of them on Horizon, apparently. Right. Um, Rainbow, you've got the helm sorted. Oh, yep. Um, that Lars, you've managed to get the weapons. Yes, I should have picked the weapons by now. Uh, yep, I can see it's taken. Tetra, you've got engineering. That is correct, I do. And Jonas, you've managed to get the science. Yes. Excellent. This is Fleet Captain to Command and Control. We're ready for launch. Acknowledge, standby, permission, commencement. Is Lancer calling? Apparently. Yeah. We're in gray mode. Um, for the benefit of the new officers, when I call for a an attack pattern, I'll also um, add some more detail, like what to load and things. I shall also help you in assisting and providing those details. Tire maneuver, please. Yeah. You have maneuver for maximum bonk. Yeah, I see the fleet. It was to avoid bonk. Go ahead, command. Sector 11 is one transition coreward. Roger that, one transition call with all ships, form up on TS and Sabre. Helm take his heading 00011. Free speed to up to. Very disciplined of you, Rainbow. For what? You ordered oh. warp one. I went to warp. See, I see. Turn up. Hold position. Go ahead. We are preparing the first Caltron disruptor. Roger that. Lancer, remain in formation with Tears and Saber. How I'll take us into grid Delta Three Mark One. Horizon coordinate with Command and Control to uh, close down that uh, Caltron link. Confirmed. In but fact, make it Delta 3 Mark 7 and hold position there so we're not too far away. Understood. Uh, for information, uh, we Captain. Mm hmm. Since that was a prime of the details of the design of the pack, it'll take approximately three minutes before the pack is ready.
Oh, don't shoot the, don't shoot the Lancer. Weapons, you targeted Lancer. Lancer, move to engage Alpha Group. Helm, bring us round. Let's uh, engage Bravo Group, direction 130. Alpha Flight, die. Right, it's nuclear to engage Charlie Group. Copy. Right, weapons, target um, any ship that has B on it. Right in front of us. You just click on Help it. me off the shield. Yeah, I do. Front shield is low. Can we get a comms tag going them? We have some damage primary beam, 75% sensor, 75% front shield, 50%. Where's that? Okay, it looks like we've got a weapons lock on Bravo H7 now. Let's move into attack. Delta's coming in. Continue on Bravo. Lancer, engage Delta Fleet. Alright, go evasive again, Helm. Yeah, that was our front shield. Right, let's switch to attack pattern uh, Omega-1. So weapons, you're going to target enemies and you're going to load them fire homing torpedoes only. Do not torpedoes at 50%. Boost power to torpedo systems compensate for damage. Loading torpedoes? Mm hmm. I'm so safe, you can move to engage Echo Fleet with TS and Horizon. I'm moving my teams in at the front for repair. Weapons, see if you can switch target to Delta 5 1. That enemy ship. We're right behind us. Uh, you're going to notice there's a green square around it. That's the one. Uh, Captain, can you repeat that command for weapons? Um, fire homing torpedoes at Delta 5 1. And fire homing torpedoes at Delta 9 8. Helm bring us about. Loading torpedoes? For what, sorry? Uh, for the Bravo 01 and Bravo 99. We'll take out this Delta 98 first and then go for them. How's damage looking? Slowly and steadily repairing. We have primary beam 60%. Our torpedoes are damaged at present. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more on that should do it. Horizon, report your status. Just fired the tag. Good job. So yeah, I see the fleet. Go ahead, command. The Caltron disruptor has been deployed. It'll take a bit to get rid of it. Please clean out the remaining Caltrons and uh, move on to sector 11. Sorry, Jeff. 12. Okay, that one's gone. Uh, or our forward shield's coming back online. Slowly, well, we our front shield's at six, seven. Okay, load uh, weapons. Load one EMP into the tubes. You've got the tubes boosted. And then target Bravo zero one and fire. Okay. And um, give us a cost towards the targets. Firing. Save us, Horizon. Excellent. Go ahead, Horizon. We're going to need a little bit of an energy top off. Roger that. Move into Delta 3 at Mark 5 and uh, 
refuel that. Very well. Okay, moving to beam range. Lancer, Giant, Saber, Hi. attacking Bravo fleet. Good job, by the way, Sancho. Can we have the forward view on main again, please? Thank you. And then weapons, target Bravo 99. Harder impulse, please, quickly. Okay, let's move impulse to boost. Horizon's position and uh, replenish that energy. We are in FCS mode. Getting us a. Got a stand down impulse? Yes. Plan to make sure you're refueling. We are, Saber. There's actually a status, isn't there? I can see. Oh, yes, there we are. They're fully repaired. Yeah, oh. I wondered why I couldn't scan. Hmm. The insect. Command, this is Pierce and Sabre. Go ahead, Sabre. I would think we've got some kind of creature come out of the black hole. Uh, do we need to do anything with it? We don't foresee that they are a problem. However, if uh, you feel your paranoid oats, feel free to destroy them. Do you think this is the butterfly? The I butterfly fight. <laughs> This may turn and uh, erase you from existence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They've tried it in the past. Saber, this is Horizon. We yeah. are ready to go. Kill that insect, and suddenly you've got a beard. <laughs> um, weapon. <laughs> Do you know how to convert energy to torpedoes? There should be a button at the bottom uh, right of your screen that says energy to torpedoes. Um, which button do you mean? It should say energy or E. Uh, okay, NR. found it. Uh, can you click it a few times? Now we have 10 torpedoes. There Again. We go. Thank you very much. Did my headset break or is it just so quiet on the bridge? I think it's quiet. What? We are just very civilized. My All headset right. did break. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Everybody else can hear, Kelly. Rainbow, you can hear. I can hear you again, thanks. Oh, excellent. Lars, you can hear. Yes. Jonas, you can hear. Yes. Okay. Command, um, are we alright to start making our move towards Sector 12? Do we expect anything else from this black hole? No, the uh, Caltron Disruptor has been planted. It just takes a while to work. You should move on to Sector 12. Roger that. All ships uh, will rendezvous in grid Charlie 5, Mark 3. Helm tick is there, Charlie 5, Mark 3. Hard to work, please. Question permission to go to a higher warp factor. Uh, yep, go for it. Use your own discretion. Warp four everywhere, every time. Watch that. Oh, I'm going to warp two. <laughs> warp two, I think, is the most efficient.
I think Lenser has to work on its bearings. It's clearly Mark Six. All right. CIC see to fleet. Go ahead, command. We have started preparations on the next Caltron disruptor. We'll let you know when it's ready to be deployed. Roger that. Um, I'm seeing Charlie 2 and Echo 5 as locations that we need to neutralize. Is that correct? Yes. Roger that. Horizon, um, move yourself into position for Charlie 2 so that you got a clear shot. Lancer, move around into grid Charlie 2 mark. 3, engage the Gulf Fleet. Horizon, you're clear to engage Hotel Fleet. Sable will engage Foxtrot Fleet. All right, Helm takes into range of Foxtrot Fleet. Uh, let's see what we've got. Primary. They're all primaries by the looks of it. Yeah, they're all primaries. All right. Um, Delta 3, attack pattern Delta 3. Weapons, that means you target them, and we use primary beams to take them out. You are also but, clear to use torpedoes. Yeah, torpedoes yes. and beams, that's correct. You want to fire a torpedo. As long as it's a homing or a P-shock, go for it. Okay, loading torpedoes. Do you have that um, sheet that you have, the Tetra, that's handy on you? We don't have it here. It's on my Discord, if you can somehow show it. I don't it have me. access to Discord from here, I'm sorry. If you target oh, that closest okay. enemy, it should finish it off. I can send you a link to it if you want, Tetra. Not sure that would Rainbow, work. it's not gonna help us at present. I can't go and bring it up anywhere. <laughs> I was just offering to help. Yeah, I thank you for offering, but I'm sorry it won't help us. Okay, final one. I swam. New group, Mike. Lancer, move to engage that Mike fleet that's come through the black hole. Okay. Yes. Horizon, we're gonna move. Horizon, we're gonna move in support of you. Helm, come to engage. Hotel Very well. Two zero. We're light ordnance only. Roger that. We'll move in close. Hotel 2-0 is the primary target. Okay, firing torpedoes. New group, Nancy, or November, whatever you prefer. <laughs> I don't know why we say Nancy here, so I'm just used to saying Nancy. Nancy. It, I think it's a thing my dad taught me. Must be French. Horizon, you can move to engage November group. It's not even like. Copy that. Don't judge me, Savior. <laughs> There, hey, at least there's two ends in Nancy and only one in November. They're, they're selected so they're unmistakable, you know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> like it's, I... it's not like it's a World War II phonetic alphabet. I have heard other people use Nancy, but I'm not sure in what context that was. Status update, we have no torpedoes anymore. Roger that. Helm, let's go and engage Mike group. Direction is 089. Lancer, this is Sable. We're coming to join you. Horizon will re will leave the rest of November fleet Very good, Sable. Right. November 6th time, primary beams. I will look it up after this.
Pew, pew. Are we actually firing? Yeah, we are. Yep. And now they went boom. LAPD phonetic alphabet. Does it have Nancy in it? Yes. <laughs> I'm not as stupid as I seem to be. Ad well, somebody's being arrested then. <laughs> A for Adam, B for Boy, C for Charles, David, Edward, Frank, George, Henry, Ida, John, King, Lincoln, Mary, Nancy, Ocean, Jeez. Paul, Queen, no, Robert, so Sam, good. Tom, Union, Victor, William, X-Ray, <laughs> your <laughs> zebra. A fun fact, the Swiss Army used to use a phonetic alphabet that was all city names from like cities and towns in Switzerland. So you'd have... Zeeva Zurich, for example. All right, we need to go and engage Quebec group. TSN Lancer, move to spot TSN Horizon against Romeo 78. Saber Wills, um, engage Quebec group. Uh, see you again, Saber. Going for beams. Was that you, Lancer? Yes, sorry. Uh, go and help. Um, Horizon, and now with the Rome Romeo group. Warning, Romeo front shield is low. Okay, evasive maneuvers. Helm, see if you can gather Quebec up and draw them down into grid Charlie 2 at mark 7. Bring them, yeah. We're going to have to stick close to them to be able to do that. Can we get a calm segment to just make sure? Have. We don't have a comms officer. We do. Got him. But oh. their tango switches too quickly. It's proximity based rather than uh, taunt based, I think. That makes sense. Hit Quebec 1 2. See what we can do to him. Powers in the beams, give them the pew pew pew. Once their pew pew stoppers are down, let me know. Saber's horizon. Yeah, if you want, horizon. Horizon. you can load the tag in. has been deployed, we're heading to the other black hole. Roger that. We'll clean up here. Lancer, we're going to clean up these enemy fleets around here. Oh Back boy, forward. that was a lot of boogies. Should we uh, head with uh, horizon then? Recommend that. Uh, negative, we want to uh, clear this area so that once the tag's done its thing, it's clear. Aye. Uh, just so you know, sir, clearing the sector here won't do anything as the black holes will linger and be able to be used still. They'll just deal with some more reinforcements around this black hole if you need to. I, I I missed that. What? Uh, the black hole is still being able to. It's still active for the time being. Yeah. It will still be active for the next hour or so. So if they really want to send more Caltrons around this black hole, they can just send them through the black hole. The next hour? I thought. It, yeah. I thought we deployed it and then it closed down. No, it was in the it was in the briefing and in the uh, <laughs> right in okay. work. I I misunderstood. It was three minutes to get it. It was three minutes to get the tags ready. Uh, right, okay. About, a, about an hour for the Black Holes Club. Right. Lancer, um, I misunderstood what was going on. Let's move to spot TSN Horizon. Horizon, we're going to come to your position now. Hi. Helm, let's yeah. go to heading 113. We're just waiting for the tag. 
Where's that horizon? Yeah, I'm for... keeping the sensors up. We seem to have reduced sensor range. Mm. Uh, for the information, there, it's because we can't delete black holes with their the gem uh, screen. Yes. It, that is a limitation for the sandbox. Won't be in the future. <laughs> Keep going past these enemies. Let's go uh, farm up on Horizon. There's so point. much stuff on the board. Luckily, we don't have to destroy it all. Yeah. Uh, say about this is Lancer. Do you want us to take Tango? Lancer, see if you can engage. Um... Victor Fleet with TS and Horizon, Sabro handle Papa Fleet. Helm take us into oh, range no, of uh, Papa Fleet, direct um, weapons, exactly. load and fire, homing torpedo. Oh, we've not got any homing torpedoes. Um, look, you can load and fire P shocks as we take their shields down. Roger that. Uh, so, science, once a target we're firing out has no shields, you can call out to weapons and they can fire at the P shock. It's a bit more coordination yeah. between all stations. Mm -hmm. We want to know as soon as the shield is zero. Will it be done? Can you repeat the primary target? Uh, it's your discretion. Take one. You have no front shields left? Shields, Papa 64, Total zero. Range. Front Invasion shields are zero. That was on my fault. Apologies. Alright. I'll uh, uh, file for you demotion later. If you can get a P shock on Papa 6 4. When its shields are down, a P shock will insta kill it. That's okay, Xavier. Firing a P shock at uh, Papa 64. Excellent. I recommend the mine here. Saber, is this Horizon? Uh, they're only primaries, so we'll, uh, to be honest with you, two P shocks on them will probably kill them. Yeah. I'm working Horizon on ahead. those front shields. Third tag has been deployed. Good job, Horizon. Command, uh, this is Farfight. Go ahead. Both tags have been deployed in this area. We clear to uh, move out. Papa 56, front shield zero. Part of the operational mission is to clean up these leftover Caltrons. So once you get them cleaned up, you can move on to Sector 1. Jeez. There's not. He doesn't have to. Let me know if you need a uh, grant to be deployed. Commander, are you sure the intel is correct that we have to destroy all the Caltrons? Energy 30%. Yeah, leaving the Caltrons here would not uh, get rid of them. <laughs> Rainbow. I'm just. You can do what you don't want to fleet. Go ahead. Since these black holes have been uh, disabled for Caltron use, uh, a strategy that you can employ is to flush them down the black holes. That will destroy them, whereas before they would not get destroyed, they would just reappear. Roger that. Right, uh, all shit. See if you can start luring uh, Caltrons towards black holes. Um, engineering, can you boost power to sensors to maximum? I'm still seeing uniform 5-4. Would it be worth boost us to trying max. to get that one? Let's see if we can get some of these fleets uh, shifting towards the black hole then. Rainbow, I'll, I'll leave it in your hands. Weapons, feel free to target and fire primary beams as we get a chance. Roger that. Saber, this is Horizon. Go ahead, Horizon. Go ahead, Horizon. Much as we're going to flush, we could still probably use a top off with uh, the grant. Do you mind uh, calling that in? Or should we? Stand by. Command, can we have the grant come into grid Echo 1, Mark 3? I will send them that direction. Energy 25%. Front shields are again at 100%. Okay, let's see. Go um, back to mining them. 
Let's go and can we get can we isolate the X-ray? Please. Yes, you can. Lancer, you take this Alpha fleet. We're going to try and take the X-ray fleet behind it. Yeah, you're clear to engage with primary beams if we've got shields back up. Raging shield, part of maneuver. Yeah, I'm maneuver. Are we just going for the X-ray or Alpha? Just the X-ray. X-ray, 2-9, okay. their shields are down. 2-9 is our target. Target to start. X-ray 9-5 will be our target. Raise rear shields. X-ray 9 or 5, front shields are 0. Target 9-5 and try uh, T-Shock. Okay, prepare to go to evasive. Go evasive. We're starting to take warp damage. Yeah, that's why I'm evasive. What's your energy level looking like? Okay, puts in fuel collection here. Pulling and repairing. <sighs> what is Uniform 5 for? Science, what is Uniform 5 for? Uniform 5-4 is Keltron primary with full shields. I think it might be stuck on an asteroid or something. Horizon, looks like Grant is active if you want to head there. Thank you. It's not even as far, there's no buckles, there's no asteroids nearby. It could just have its warp cut off. What, Uniform 5-4? Yeah. Does it... Not on a asteroid or anything. No, there doesn't seem to be any in that area. Right, how are we looking? Cool. Have we got enough to engage X-ray 5-6? X-ray 9-5, sorry. Stand by. We... Energy and damage-wise, we're looking all right. All right, let's move to engage that final uh, X-ray target then. Front shields at 60. Should I convert energy to torpedoes? Uh, uh, only yet. two. Only two. Roger that. Oh, hard about, please. Sorry. Hard about? Are there Extra 9-5, front shields are down. All right, Pulling what down. we got here? All damage repaired. Okay, Rainbow, do you think you could uh, gather those up and we drop a mine on them? Ah, I definitely can. Okay. Weapons, load of mine, ready. Brace shields. We're not going in right now. Just, we're gonna loading go a mine. Yes, please. And then uh, and will... unloading one piece shock. Okay, that's fine. You've got the tubes. Uh, one mine is ready. I need shields. Uh, I will tell you when to drop it. Shields boosted. Please warn Lancer off. Lancer, be advised, we're going to drop a mine on these. Acknowledged. We can uh, Cancel that, that uh, mo uh, 
Shield, I need maneuver. Apologies. You got maneuver. Tell me when you're going in. Can you beams these guys? Weapons, not come with beams. Weapons. C could just you target. use the command? Uh, just, just fire anyone with beams. Yeah. Okay, brace shields. Might have been an ideal drop, but it's gonna be a drop. It's fine. Drop mine. That was our shields. Gets out, gets out. Maximum tower to warp systems. We have no warp. Lance, we've got, got no warp. Else. Can you, uh. Hard about, hard about. Move we got Uh. Load up P-Shocks. Get ready to fire all P-Shocks. Loading P-Shocks. Can you put maximum power to, um, impulse and get us out? On it. They're, they're still faster than us. I think once it's, uh, saved us there. Yep. And going aggressive seem to have saved us as well. Good, That's right. Awesome. Let's I'll see if we... You have warp. Yeah. Right, take us out of uh, range so that we can get these repairs done. We'll see, I see the fleet. Go ahead. Once these Keltrons are cleaned out, recommend that all ships restock at Grant. Uh, Grant will probably not be able to fly fast enough to reach Sector 1 in time to be of any use. Can we go for the Grant, sir? Uh, let's see what Slan's got left. Ah, uh, yeah, Wait. move to Grant. Power to warp, please. You have to warp, though it's still slightly damaged. Yep. Going for, as Lance would say, nebula piercing speed, whatever. This is as much speed as you're getting. <laughs> They're all going for Grant. <laughs> So we're going to have to wait in line. Oh, I'm comms, aren't I? Yeah. So the Grant is a resupply ship. It can provide us with uh, any type of weapons. It does not, however, provide us with energy, but we can convert torpedoes to energy, so weapons. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yes, so we should get as many torpedoes as possible and convert them to energy. Yeah, you will start when our torpedo count starts going up. You can start converting them to energy until our energy is full. Roger that. You can, you can convert two right now. I don't take us into range. We are within range. Roger that. Setting up system interface. And... Oh. That's it. Interface complete. Resupply from Grant. You may now convert torpedoes to energy. There you go, that's good. Energy's topped off. Okay, stopping uh, converting torpedoes to energy. Yep. Now we're just gonna fill up our silos. Oh, do you have anything in the in the, the tubes right now? No, we do not have anything in the tubes. Awesome. All right. How are you feeling so far, cadets? A bit overwhelmed, but um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's fine. It's great. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> Overwhelmed is normal at the start. Yeah. You're doing. You're doing great. G keep it going. Yeah. Don't worry about being overwhelmed. Um, we. We know what it's like to start from scratch. Well, they know what it's like to start from scratch, um, and we. 
We don't mind. Zeva uh, doesn't know that he started as a captain. Yeah. He uh, had cheat codes. Uh, captain, should we uh, head out? All right, let's move out. Power to warp. We are repaired. Recommend. And you have to warp. Recommend we do an alpha one transition. Yep, let's go. All ships uh, rendezvous at transition line alpha. Let's see. We need to move. We're in sector 12, so yeah, we need to go straight up and then across. In fact, no, we could do an alpha. Yeah, straight up. Ignore me. On to the next sector. So in this sector, there's nothing that we need. We need to go to Alpha 1 Mark 1. You still recommend, have warp. Recommend Alpha 1 yeah, Mark 3. That means going up and then across? Yes. But if we go Alpha 1 Mark 1, then we go straight into this sector. We approach Sector 6, which is too close. Command, go ahead. We're receiving a message from the Natani saying that they will join us in Sector 1 to help uh, eliminate the last of the Caltrons in this mission. So be prepared for their assistance. Roger that. Let's see what we've got. Tearson Horizon, Tearson Lancer, this is Sabre. Go ahead. Uh, there's only one black hole here, so it looks like it's going to be a nice, easy finish with no problems. Happy that, uh, you Sabre, we uh, are definitely going to hold you responsible for this. Horizon, move into position in Bravo 2. Lancer, we'll take up position in Grid Charlie 3, Mark 1. Oh, hell, let's draw the Lancer. Oh, there's lots coming in. Power is on sensors. Lancer, move to engage the Delta fleet. Sabre will move to engage Charlie Fleet. Horizon, you're clear to engage the Echo. There's our allies. All right. They're so far away, they're never going to get to uh, engage. No. Right. Charlie Fleet. Charlie 9434 and 25 are our primary targets. Rochdown. I'm gonna go for two five first. As it's the most rear. Yeah, set. Shields. I got him. Good. Shields up. Good. That will keep our hallways from getting damaged. Charlie 25 for your shields at zero. Come on. You can use uh, homing torpedoes as well if you want. Roger that. Loading torpedoes. Charlie 25 is invincible. There we go. 9 4 is next target. Firing torpedo. Charlie 9-4, front shield zero. Our front shield are also zero. Right, go to Omega-1. Omega-1 is just torpedoes. Okay, yep. Okay. 
Yeah, just fighting those homings when you've uh, loaded them, then weapons. Nice. One target destroyed. Charlie 3 4, 4 on shields at zero. Loading another torpedo. Firing torpedo. Ooh, we've got a swarm and... Should I load another torpedo? Uh, yes. Loading and firing. Hey. Destroyed. Now let's go for the echo group direction is 227. Maneuver. Weapons if you can load in one EMP and one nuclear torpedo. Getting out the big guns, huh? Let's do that. that. So your target will be echo 19. You need to fire the um, EMP first and leave a delay before firing the nuke. Roger that. We are echo group. Firing EMP. Oh, wrong target. Um, EMP should go for the center of the mass. So like. Ah, so, uh, sorry. Nine one. Uh, yeah, you fired at nine one. I said one nine. Okay. Um. Can you see where the Can yellow... Loading a, another EMP? Yep. Do it. Okay, firing EMP. The wrong target. Same target as last time. It won't work. It needs to be 1-9. Uh, Sorry, I uh, didn't switch the target. My okay. fault. This is the correct target now. Try again. So the one uh, E zero zero or E one. Uh, let's see. At this point, they're breaking up. Yeah. Uh, e zero zero would be a good target. Uh, firing nuke. Paper, this is Horizon. Okay, okay fire the nuke yes. now. Okay. Horizon, go ahead. Final package has been delivered. Good job. All ships. All we have to do now is the moment. Nice. Okay. Can we get another nuke on Echo 9-3? Okay, loading a new nuke. Fire it as soon as you've got it. Firing nuke. That's going to be a good one. Very nice. Boom. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go in with beams. Echo 19 is the primary target. Roger that. Rainbow? Yep. Okay, gotcha. Our energy is 30%. Yeah. Front sheets are low. Ally Hotel Zero 1 5 sheet. inbound. Okay, evasive moves. Switch back to using torpedoes. Roger that, uh, loading torpedoes. Firing torpedo. Okay. See, I see the fleet. <laughs> Go ahead. The Natani are suggesting that these are too many Caltrons to handle, and they're going to retreat to Sector 2, and they suggest that you do the same. We agree with their assessment. All ships, what's your ordnance levels looking like? Same with the slant, so we are green. 
<laughs> nice one, Lancer. Sabres Horizon. Go ahead. We're still pretty much uh, sort of green to amber on our ordnance, so we can go for a little while longer. Roger that. Command, we're telling Natani we'll stay for a little bit longer and see what we can uh, get rid of. Very good. We'll Victor 72 is another super swarm. We are out of torpedoes now. All right, load up two mines and set tubes. Saber, permission to drop a mine on Kilo and Sierra Fleet? Loading two mines. Was that Lancer? Yes, sorry. All uh, right, Lancer, uh, go ahead. We'll um, we'll be dropping mines as well, but we'll drop them on a different fleet. How Home set us up for ta the Tango fleet. Roger, sir. So they are. Oh, we're getting a lot more coming through. Uh, I'm out of energy. What? Energy. What's your energy. In fuel collection, quick. Yeah. Give, Give us a course away from the closing enemies. As soon as we get a bit of energy warp out. We have 0 0.6%. Keep us everything down except for warp. Yeah, right, that's acknowledged. You can warp us indefinitely at warp one. Okay, drop here and go to fuel collection. Should I unload the mines from the tubes? Uh, no, keep them for now. Roger that. 10%. Command, this is Farflight. Go ahead. I will start to withdraw as the Natani exit. Very good. Thirty percent. All right, Helm, I want to do mine runs on the leading elements of the Caltron fleets, the Sierra Victor. Energy's now 60%. Maneuver. You have it. Weapons, when Helm tells you to drop the mine, drop the mine. On which target? Uh, Just LGO. when it, when the Helm says. The mines don't require Not a target. Ah, oh, okay. Spray shields. Going in. Neighbor, this is Horizon. Drop, drop. Dropping two mines. All right, yep. get us out, Helm. Horizon, go ahead. Once we've gotten a few more ticks of energy, which uh, fleet is our uh, priority? Priority are the ones that are closest to the Natani. Copy. Recommend, recommend double two on, that, on uniform zero seven. Go for it. Weapons targeted with primary beams. Keep in mind, no front shield on our part. I, uh, I think you have a shot. How? No, I was at zero. <laughs> there was an impulse. Maneuver. These are fast Ultrons. Hey. Target destroyed? Uh, can we deploy a mine and just lead the enemies into it? Instead of flying through. Uh, load up two mines. More mines! Yeah. 
What should I do with the mines? Load? Or... Load yes. them for now, yeah. Ah. Okay, mines are ready. Hard about. Whoa, whiskey is going. Drop. Dropping. Oh. Nice. Let's see if we can hit that whiskey fleet with beams. Pull them off the Natani. Front shield 20%. Target Wesky one nine. P shocks. You can use P shocks. Yeah. Load and fire P shocks. Weapon change beams to C. Changing beams to C. That weapons. Don't forget to load in P shocks. Loading P shocks. Front shield's gone. We're changing target Boom. to uh, Whiskey Tree Zero. Roger. All ships begin your retreat to the five line. Maneuver. Maneuver. Hard to warp. Right helm, get us out. You have to warp. Oh dearie, that was a maneuver node we just damaged over there. That's fine, we're... Oh, plenty of time. We have successfully covered the retreat of the Natani. On horizon. <laughs> All right. Is that a crash? See, I see the. I don't think it was a trash. Go ahead, Command. You have successfully retreated to Sector 2 and then to Sector 7. Congratulations on a mission well played. Roger that. All crews, you can uh, debrief and then stand down. What does he mean, played? Is this a game or something? We'll stand down until 25 to the hour. All right. Um, how did you find that one, Lars and Jonas? To whom was this directed? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Lars and Jonas, how are you finding it? Amazing. Great. I thought that went really well, too. I mean, there was some really intense engagements, but we managed to not get destroyed, which is always quite a plus. <laughs> it, was a, it was a close shot at one point when they started taking out our rope, but we managed to get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surviving I... does have its benefits. <laughs> I think things were getting smoother the, the longer we went on, which was good. Um... It yeah, seemed, very quick learners, yeah. It seemed like you were getting into the swing of things. Now I'm getting a bit more the hang of how the interface of weapons work. Mm -hmm. 
I loved hearing the science call-outs. The longer we went on, the more you knew what to tell us, like uh, beam values, when the shields went down, uh, when new enemies were popped up, and you started calling out the beam frequencies as well. Very good job. All right. Um, well, it, we've got 15 minutes for a break there. Um, we'll stand down and then if you'd like to join us again, uh, you can do. I know that you're at like um, a LAN party, aren't you? So I don't know what your plans are next. You are always welcome to come back to the TSN Saber. You would like to. You, it was, you, it was affirmative. Very yeah, well, there's, a, there's another mission after this one. Mm -hmm. And after that, there will be another simulation, which is which is going to play another round, but it won't be part of our canon. Uh, you're welcome to join both of those. Uh, the thing, the online duty shift that we're in, it ends at 1 a.m. for us. So until then, we I will keep playing and you're welcome to join. Sure. Yes. Awesome. You can also leave early, of course. There's no pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> well, there would be pressure if the fleet captain had his way, but uh, we unionized, <laughs> so now it's now it's okay. Oh, uh, did you not get the memo, Tetra? Can you repeat that, Rainbow? Sorry. Did you not get the memo? Memo? You sent me something on Discord? Uh, no, I just I sent you a message about like three months ago saying that the union, uh, due to uh, budget block cuts, has uh, been uh, permanently uh, disassembled. Oh, you know, we unionized against union leadership because we didn't <laughs> think that was okay. So now there's a union union. Well, it's a good thing that um, it is not uh, <laughs> legitimized by uh, HR uh, because there is no HR department for another seven thousand years. Uh, so unfortunately, yeah. you can't do anything until the paperwork gets there, and you know how long it takes. It might take more than 7,000 years before the paperwork actually gets filed. Uh, then we'll get back to this topic in 7,000 years, all right? <laughs> awesome. Right. Anyway, uh, let's stand down. Yeah, there's, <laughs> a, there's a break now for a little while, and I'm just going to set, set down this headset and talk to you in real life, okay? And for you all online, see you after the break. <laughs> see you soon. You all, as in me and Xavier. <laughs> yes, you too. <laughs> all right.
Hello, hello, hello. How's everything going on here? Huh. Quite hello. silent. Hello. Oh, be in personal department if you like to talk. Okay, I guess that means you have something to talk about. No, I just want to... Just... There, there's, there, the fleet captain has cameras on the Saber Bridge. Ah, okay.
Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, Tetra Tetra. I'm gonna drag the uh, cadets up here. <laughs> there we go. We also have uh, Quaris, Swan, Blurry, and Yui still in the head. A bunch of lieutenants. Server down for everyone? Yes. All right. It's restarting. Is Zonovan doing it? Can you make that no, a restart that? <laughs> you doing it, then, sir? <coughs> I am. Awesome. I return. Server is still down? Welcome yeah. return. It's on its way up. Is Swan dying yet? Well, Swan stepped away again. Server is up. Okay, how many people we got here? 18. Minus one, because we've got a not observing left hand. They are observing playing for the cadet. Oh. Uh, Game Master is reading as taken. Well, the server went down, so hopefully should be able to try it again. There we go. All right. Um, let's get mission update then. Yes. Um. Well, for the the end of the last mission, the um. The Natani were being briefed by Iwak and Commander Tour and his cousin. And uh, I assume Pierce has the results of that briefing as to the decision made there. Uh, well, um, I do have a briefing. <laughs> this was written for me, so um, it's quite hefty, apparently. We are here at the dawn of the greatest battle the Euphini Expanse has ever or will ever bear witness. Insert grand music <laughs> here. Admiral Shewok with his... <laughs> with his infinite wisdom or blind, blind dumb luck has convinced the NIF to join his forces to this one battle. The compromise that was struck is that we will be under Shewok's command. A small price to pay for the extra Natani ships. We are all gathered in Euphini 7, for good luck. We have about 300 Natani vessels, with a few dozen in reserves throughout the system. The Ford Light Division will have a primary responsibility to use the Caltron disruptors while the Natani blow the Caltron out of the sky and provide cover. We will have four tags to fire, and for efficiency, all ships will be equipped with them. This mission. If you wish to activate your tag, please inform CIC they will begin the process. Reminder, you only have one minute once the disruptor is activated. There are four Caltron created black holes. I will post their designation here now. If I am able to. Yes, there we go. Um, 
they are named and in parentheses you will find the quadrants within Euphini 6 that the black holes are at. Uh, once the ad these are dealt with, kill as many of the machines as you can. And with a bit of luck, the Caltron threat will end here. Yay! Any questions? How much luck are we talking? Do I need to buy a lottery ticket as well? Oh, I'll grant be around. That unfortunately, the drawing for the next lottery ticket is only ten thousand years. So you can buy it. It just you'll be waiting a little bit. Will Grant be around to replenish Horizon's luck? Um. Let me check my notes. Um, I yes, yes. There we go. Uh, the grant uh, uh, certainly is uh, possible uh, to be summoned to you. It has been making its way uh, down from uh, sector twelve. I believe you left it. Uh, and it has been making its way to Sector 7, so the ground is available. Lucky. So it seems. Alright, well if there's no other points to come across, let's head to ships. Yes, please return to the same ship you were at uh, just now. Mr. Sandstar, please join the Horizon crew. Horizon Eye. Are we all comfortable taking our previous assignments? I'm good with that. Same here. Alright, Cadet Jonas, you're currently muted. He has uh, some difficulties with his microphone at the moment. No worries. Uh, Fleet Kevin, if you could please continue to serve as our most beloved comm officer. That would be appreciated. <laughs> I can do. Uh, once all stations are ready, please report in. Alan is ready. Cadet Lars, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Lieutenant Kinda Tetra, are you ready? I am ready. I do have yet another cadet coming, though. Oh? Yes, I'll be helping them set up, but do consider me ready. Right, press scanning. Press scanning them. Uh, no, they just keep showing up here and being like, can we join? Uh, <laughs> cadet Lars, Cadet Jonas, has, have any of you felt trended by Tetra to join? <laughs> I don't know where Tetra is getting all these cadets. Mm. Especially in the past, sir. This is very fishy. It's okay, Tetra, you're just our best recruit recruitment officer we have. <laughs> Thank you. Horizon, Lancer, report when you're ready to go. You recruit an entire ship worth of cats. Saber, this is Horizon. Go ahead, Horizon. We are ready to dispatch the remaining black holes. Roger that. Saber, this is Lanza. We are ready. Roger that. Testing my microphone. Test is successful. Um, hmm? Right, is everybody ready? Seatbelt is on. Emergency break off. And the the mission details are in your head, Rainbow. 
everything's in my head. Yeah. So, give me pointers as we go along, because it's starting to get light now. Command, we're ready to go. Please stand by for mission commencement. Firstly, we see Caltrons, we destroy Caltrons. There's also black holes that we have to destroy. That's all you need to know at this moment. So... Horizon still got the torpedoes to get into black holes. And you should be doing it now first for uh, efficiency. Any ship. So you just have to request a CIC if you want to shoot a tag. Okay. Cadet Red 4. Can you please give them their appropriate rank real quick? I, uh... Well, that works. They have a different cadet rank. <laughs> Alright, they're a pirate now. <laughs> works, though. A rainbow, since you're the personal yeah, officer, where should I send them? For our command. Please start making your way Moment, towards, uh, Charlie 1 for transition. I guess here would be the best place. Because Horizon... Roger. Oh, shit. Know. Move to grid Charlie 1. Um, they don't know anyone on the horizon, so it'd be weird to name their direction two seven zero. Uh, wärst du komfortabel, wenn du auf dem Schiff bist mit nur Leuten, die online sind und niemandem von da? Captain, the, the Universal Translator. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the cadet is comfortable being on horizon, and sorry, I realized I just broadcast that. <laughs> That's okay. Was that your native language, Tetra? Yeah, that was my native language, thank you. So that's what you actually normally sound like. Yeah, yeah. We are a little behind. Tetra, can you give us a part of engineering? A power to engineering? Oh my god. Power to uh, Let's acknowledge all power to engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain. You lost your Captain C. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am going to need to quickly switch to the Horizon channel myself. I'll be back momentarily. So you say transport. <laughs> Look at this fleet of the Tani shirt. Yeah, so uh, our focus at the beginning of the mission, uh, Xavier, will be to take on the black holes. Okay. So the Tani will cover, uh, provide some support. Okay. Uh, the black holes that we should do not need to worry about are in Echo 4 and Bravo 2. Those are naturally made black holes. The rest of them are... Um, Caltron generated. Yep. Watch out. All ships. Um, black hole in Bravo 2 at Mark 4 and Echo 3 at Mark 3 are naturally occurring black holes. The other black holes in Delta 2, Charlie 4, Charlie 3, and Alpha 4 are the ones that we need to neutralize. Lancer, move to the one in Alpha 4 and start working on neutralizing that. Horizon, move to grid Charlie oh, 4. Start neutralizing that. Save will move to grid Charlie 3. Now I'll take us towards grid Charlie 3 mark 2. Direction is 279. May I, also, may I also point out, sir, this is not a character, but this is where the season began in this very picture. Mm. This is the first time we've been back. So, um, do I need to ask command to charge up the uh, tag? Uh, yes, you would have to ask. And it'll be a three minute timer before the tag is ready. Command, this is TSN Sabre. Go ahead, Sabre. Command, we're requesting that the tag be prepared on the TSN Sabre. Getting ready to prepare one. I am back on engineering. Exactly. I recommend we uh, keep any calculations approaching the black holes from approaching it. Do you think somebody may have spawned them too quickly? The, what, the, the Keltrons? Yeah. No, they are spawning properly. Alright, I feel like there's lots of double dashes. 
All right, let's go ahead and engage uh, X-Ray, Yankee, and Juliet. There uh, are a lot of speeds here. Primary beams only. Beams. Uh, Juliet, a tree. You've got the beams. Firing beams at uh, J eight three. I recommend we keep our topes clear for the moment that got them. Watch that. Destroyed. All right. Carry on attacking the Caltrons, Echo Nine Four, Hotel Six Zero. Echo Nine Four, primary target. Target is he? Correct target. Uh, Hotel Six Zero. Hotel Six Zero from Chinatown. All right, bring us back close to this black hole in Charlie Three. Hard about. Thank you, Tetra. You, you can read my mind. Anytime, Rainbow. Also, did you hear me earlier when I made a really fun joke about um, the Universal Translator, etc.? I'm afraid <laughs> not. I'm really sad. I, I was talking to I'm you in French. I'm going to have to check the stream to hear it. Yeah. By the way, did someone move my main account back in here? Yes, nice, yeah. thank you. We are streaming everything. That is crucial. <laughs> Once we get back to the future, we're going to have to show everybody what we've been doing. I'm sure they're missing us. That's going to again engage November 7-2. That's a stray variation. Uh, where can we stay here? We're approaching a three minute mark. All right, hold here then. Can we put the tag in now then? Uh, we do not have it yet. Oh, I see. The one, the one we saber, your tag is ready. Roger that. Load a tag. Oh, that is. Weapons load tag. Loading tag. This was one of those tags for role playing reasons that I mentioned. Saber yes, Horizon. As soon as it's ready, fire. Right, Horizon. First tag is down. Roger that. Monos, Stay move to Delta 2. Um, yes, Horizon, move into Delta 2. Well, let's go ahead. Ready. How can I fire the tag? Black hole yeah. in Alpha same. 4. Uh, you press the fire button. Stabilize. Same as a torpedo. More order. Tag away. Alpha, move into Charlie Doesn't 2. Doesn't it need any. Attack. Uh, target? Acknowledge. Nope. Charlie 2. Okay, thank you. Uh, the tag has been fired successfully, it is in the black hole. Right. Yeah, the black hole was the target, and it pulls the tag in because it's a black hole, so that's convenient. Let's okay. move to engage the hotel group that's currently engaging the Natani in Grid Charlie 3 Mark 4. Understood. Recommend you, uh, you inform CIC. Command. Our tag was successfully deployed into the black hole in Gritali 3 Mark 2. Thank you very much, Saber. We'll uh, take us into range. Torpedoes and primary beams. Power is on the beams. Thank you for raising the shield. <laughs> You're welcome. You only killed three damn con teams. <laughs> No, as a matter of fact, all of our cats are safe. Are low. Evasive Change maneuvers. Target. Evasive maneuvers. Yep. Switch to attack pattern Omega 1. Evasive range of the black hole. Omega 1 is lobbing torpedoes at them. What, what, what was the trick you had for Omega? It sounds like a. Uh, Omega is for torpedoes. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was my mnemonic for remembering that Omega is for torpedoes, Just like Delta is for Deems. What? <laughs> I think we confused Xavier. Do you question yeah, my mnemonics? Saber. Fire torpedoes. Go ahead, command. Firing torpedoes? Uh, what ship have you designated as At whatever target you want. the black hole in Delta 2? Death and Horizon.
Go ahead. You do. I think that's an FCS. That. We are surrounded like a baby. I'm rebuilding the front shield. Oh god, what's in our P marks? That's a target November. Yeah. Very nice. Good job, Destroyed. Wells. Uh, Hotel 6-8 is our next target. Or, correction, mm, Hotel 1-1. Hotel 1-1 is the next target. Horizon, this is Sabre. Go ahead, Sabre. Horizon, you are alright with uh, that black hole. We are waiting for our second uh, probe to be prepared. Watch that. You're clear to fire. Uh, loading torpedoes. Uh, change target to Hotel 1-1, one one, please. Or below us. Okay, changing targets. Command, this is Sabre. Firing. Go ahead, Sabre. We'll Command, I'm reading arm. enemies coming out of the naturally occurring black hole in Echo 3. That is correct. The Caltron are still able to use those naturally occur occurring black holes to get there. Now that is inconvenient. It is very inconvenient because we have no technology to disrupt those black holes, but... Are, uh, can, we a, can we get a beam range, Captain? Uh, let's see, let's go into beam range, yep, Delta 2. Delta 2 is just beams. With the beams, pew pew pew. Deems. Deems, yeah, right, I'm sorry. And what was the echo? Echo was for... The echo is all you hear after the mines explode. <laughs> I don't know why I love this so much. You're welcome. Uh, what was Gamma? Gamma is for get the hell out of here. <laughs> See, that one works. <laughs> um, you... Load up two mines into the tubes. We've got Mike Fleet. I want to drop the mines on them as quickly as we can. Mike, Roger that. Echo, because that's the last. Preferably before the Delta fleet gets there. We're loading two mines. Hey, brace shield, swing in. Or it should be ready when we get there. I should need to go ahead and drop him. They're drop. Dropped. Go ahead. Over. Nice, nice, perfect. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see I've if we can go after the here. India fleet. Yep. India fleet going for. Beam range for 2-5. Maneuver. Targeting I-2-5? And, and then yes, you can cool down systems now. Energy is 39%. Preparing to go gamma here. Going gamma. Front shield is down. Down bring us into we grid Charlie 1. Successful deployment of the uh, and Caltron got a fuel collection there. To all the Caltron generated black holes. Please take care of the Caltrons in this system. All ships, good job. See, it was easy as pie. Let's, what uh, could possibly go wrong? Mop them all up and uh, go home for tea and cake. We're not all British. Oh, what kind of cake? Chocolate? Is it chocolate? <laughs> a Victoria sponge cake. Oh, I was hoping for a lemon drizzle. Red velvet is also great. I was hoping for a maple donut. Not a croissant. I'm also Canadian. Fair enough. Okay, I'll I'll settle for a maple croissant. <laughs> nice. Now I want to try one. There's this place nearby that does a Nutella croissants. It's so good. Damn, I've I'm just getting got... hungry again. I've got a team release of Cosmos. <laughs> well, I would like to remind everybody that due to some people, I didn't have a proper dinner today. 
due to some people, um, yeah, blame Xavier. <laughs> Click that, on red at the spaceship. That just sounds like poor, poor planning on your part, Tetra. All right, um, let's see how we're looking. Are we in field oh, collection? You're not. Shields are up. I was. So we are. We are all repaired and cooled down for one. No, I was dreaming of croissants and a kid right. children. <laughs> this is Saber. Go ahead, Saber. Are you all right to mop up those fleets in Delta Three here, Ivan? Uh, we should be, but uh, could maybe not all of them. What's that, Lancer? This is Saber. Go ahead. Lancer, can you move to Spot Horizon mopping up fleets in Delta Three? I will do. Edit Lars. Horizon Lancer's coming to your position. They're under your command. Copy. Whenever our energy gets to 800, uh, press the convert energy to torpedoes once. This is two super swarms. Did you get that, Lars? Sorry, not. What should I load? Uh, so when our energy gets at, at 800, press the convert and uh, torpedoes yeah, to energy once. Or torpedoes to okay. energy once. Energy to torpedoes, oh my god. I can't talk. Right. Essentially, whenever we're above 800 energy, we you may convert energy into torpedoes until we're under 800. From the Understood. Black hole uh, in yeah, just, whatever you do, don't listen to me. We need a sensor buoy dropped. I'm setting up a rendezvous point. Do we even have a fighter pilot? Where's Blurry? Yeah, that's just Blurry. <laughs> Lancer, this is Saber. Go ahead. Lancer, you are clear to release Blurry. We need a sensor relay on rendezvous point one in Bravo 2. I will do. It's like, release the dogs. That Blurry. <laughs> Poor Blurry. Okay, load up He's... EMP and nuclear torpedo into the tubes. Blurry's happy. He gets to fire. Roger that. To... the shuttle. I'm giving you an energy on the tubes again. What will be our target? Is it Quebec? Kilo 17. EMP and nuke ready? Oh my god, it's a super swarm. Yeah. It's a super <laughs> swarm. That's a stronger enemy, so we're using the big guns. Mm hmm. Then as soon as around. you've got it in sight, target it with the EMP. Target. And fire the EMP. See, see, see. Wrong target, wrong target, wrong oh, target. Yeah, it needs to be the actual. Firing EMP? No, nope, uh... wrong target. Wrong target. Load another EMP. You need to get Kilo 17. That's the big guy. Yeah. Kilo 17. Sorry, I thought I have selected it. There you they go. were all now on top of one another. Uh, come on, go ahead. We're seeing some very strange behavior from some of the Caltrons. They okay. seem to be heading towards the black hole in Bravo. Well, as soon as you have the MP, the MP it there, some fire sort of jump off point. Watch it. Nice. Fire nuke. Please advise Blurry not to blow himself up. Kilo 17 hit with the EMP. Right, and fire the nuke. nuke. Kilo 17 shields at half. Uh, nuke fired. Load up. Two mines. Two mines are being loaded up. It did anything, that didn't it? It did. It hit it. Really mines well. are ready. Hey, okay. let's hit them with mines. Hard about. Ray shields going in. Drop, drop, drop the mines. Jeez. That was our front shield, Kilo and it was fully seven. Kilo 17 <laughs> rear shields at 150. Alright, let's get another nuke on it. Loading another Top nuke. Okay, hard about. Uh, hold it for the moment. Is anyone ready? Uh, nuke is ready. Fire. See, see Firing you. Ground will stay at the sector edge. 
He is now located in Charlie 5, Mark 9. All right, let's get a P shock on the way. Kill one and seven rear zero. Lower P shock. P shocks. Loading P shocks. Let me know when you're ready. Right about. P shocks are ready. Fire. Firing. Brace shields, brace rear. Come on. Zero shields. Yes! Nice. Very nice. That, that, that was a weird J-hook because of the uh, how big those B marks are. Yeah, I realized they're huge. They're like 4K. <laughs> What's I can't Sierra see Sierra 1-6? Science, what is Sierra 1-6? I'm boosting the sensors. Swarm. We do have more MPs. So we can take it down to 250. And, P and four P shocks. All right. Direction 337. Three, Put us into fuel collection for the time being. I want to get those torpedoes up so we can use them. We are already in fuel collection, actually. Uh, weapons um, unload. One of the P shocks unload an EMP. Okay. Roger that. It's gonna be slow. I need the energy elsewhere. That's fine. We're in FCS anyways. We don't need it right away. I'm just informing our weapons who has probably gotten used to fast tubes by now. <laughs> <laughs> that is mm -hmm. fair. Please? Go ahead. We are reading very interesting data from what seems to be the other side of the black hole. Um, we f have human life signs, about 7 million of them, uh, solar radiation, identical to the star in the Sol system. We're reading four gas giants and five rocky planets. No asteroid belt, though, and no temporal radiation, which, which suggests that the black hole is connected to a point in space that is in the same time period as you are in now. Sorry, it connects with time space that is human pre-warp. It uh, would it appear so. Say, yes. All right, let's... Um... One P shock is ready and one EMP is also ready. Okay, let's move on to that swarm, Sierra 1-6. Understood. Lance, are you clear to handle the Charlie group once you've refueled and restocked? Uh, yes, give us a minute or two, but then yes. Okay, so fire the EMP at it first. Oh god, uh, tar make sure you're targeting the right target this time. This, this is one of those that fires. Yeah. Drones. You can always Which ask us if you talk at Shields, shields, shields. Yeah. At which so, uh, one should I fire the oh, EMP? Uh, yes, one six. One six. That's the Good one. Target. Firing EMP. Right, switch to homing torpedoes. It being right on the edge is a pain. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So and... You can fire that P shock and those homing torp torpedoes at will. Okay. Can you tell me, science, can you tell me what facing we hit, we hit there? That so means we... whether we're hitting the back or the front shield. Uh, front shield is 250, rear shield is 180. Okay, rear shield it is. Commencing torpedo fire. You're good. That's the front of the front shield down to 180. They're, they're both the same now, Rainbow, so we might as well go for the front. Yeah, I'm just confused because I thought the front had the more B-marks. Where even is the front of this thing, huh? What is the front for Keltron? <laughs> Hard about? Yeah. 
You're going to fire? Firing another two torpedoes. Front shields down to 113. Yeah, we're coming one torpedo. Uh, no, we need to that. Two torpedoes and then two peace shots. We'll clear it. Putting the power box in the tubes. Uh, what again? One torpedo and one P shock. Is that right? I know. No, two torpedoes. Two torpedoes, okay. Yeah. But if you already have the P shock, then it's fine. But torpedoes would be more efficient. Both torpedoes are ready. Uh, you can clear the fire. And then two P shocks, you should clear it. Front shields at 45. Nice. As soon as you have it, fire. I should have fired both of them. Oh, no targets. You're a uh, target the ship. See, I see. I'm reading capsules jumping through the black hole. Weapons, you didn't this have a target. Uh, I'm getting a communique from. What should I target? That one. Fire yeah, that's perfect. Follow the caltron. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I have refused this to go because they don't want to battle uh, in But I your do not affairs. have any but torpedoes left anymore. Uh, P shocks. Jumped in. Uh, okay, loading P shocks. It's up to you if you want to follow them or wipe out the Caltron first here. Where can we go now? If they're going back to the assault system, we may need to. Firing P shocks? Yeah, we're a bit surrounded here, aren't we? What about. Sorry? Or if it's surrounded. So we've got two options. We can go into the black hole and, and return, to, return to Sol, yeah. Right. Eliminate it. Or eliminate the Caltrons here. Yeah, or leave it to the NIF to clear up. I'm getting a lot of, uh, oh, I know why. How are we looking on this enemy? Uh, the swarm has been destroyed. Ah, excellent. We're, do we have the grant here if you want to go dock up with the grant? There's a lot okay. left here, isn't there? Yeah, the there's The grant a lot is left. in the sector. Alright, move to the grant. Direction 108. Time for a resupply. See, I see the fleet. Go ahead, command. I would suggest you jump now while you still have the time. We don't know how long that black hole is going to last. Command, do we have time for a restock? Which black I, hole? I think so. Bro, too. But you'll have to be quick about it. Watch out. All ships, restock at the Grant and then move into the black hole in Bravo, too. Alright, take us into range the grant. Uh, Weapons, Captain. you know the drill. As soon as we start receiving torpedoes, you can turn them into energy for us. Roger that. And Captain, you know the drill. Request torpedoes. <laughs> Setting up interface, interface, resupplying from grant. Aren't you having fun, Xavier? You what? I said, aren't you having fun, the uncoms? Am I supposed to have fun? Yeah, you I, are. I didn't think that was part of my job. What a sad outlook in life. I'm just here to run the division. <laughs> <laughs> and you do, do it so gracefully, sir. That's one word for it. Oh, sir. Oh, the grad was right on the edge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the grant was right at the edge, so we accidentally transitioned to the other sector. That is hilarious. I've never seen that before. I recommend we just go now. We'll just assume we've restocked. We've been restocked, sir. 
All ships, uh, we need to move immediately to Bravo 2 now, whether we've got the restock or not. I don't think it's there. Power to warp. You have the warp. We... Uh, but we haven't uh, restocked any additional torpedoes yet. The meta reason is that this is going to be the end of the mission, so we're just role-playing that we've restocked, but we're not going to waste the time actually doing it, because the actual game session is going to end after this. Horizon, oh, okay. Lancer, you are the guinea pigs. Go first, please. <laughs> <laughs> Coward. <laughs> There's also a meta reason for this, by the way. No! <laughs> Oh, you went into the black hole too fast, you gravity slingshotted right back out on the other side. Right about. Hang on. There you have it. I'm gonna boop into the black hole we go. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> Damn, oh. Rainbow, you suck at destroying the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Swan. Yeah, yeah, Swan is a pro at destroying the ship. Confirmed. Um, excellent. Oh, Tetra, here's something interesting for you as well. This has been added to Cosmos. What is that? You're now speaking my love language. <laughs> Super <laughs> hyper warp mode. Please debrief your crews. We'll stand down to half past the hour. Let's see here. How do we Wait. do that? You have like three of my favorite words in that sentence. Um, it's a it's a loading screen. Is that what it is? Oh, I hate yeah. This. But well, it it's a it's an animation. Basically, you can play an animation. Um, so when we go through a jump gate, we can play the super hyper warp mode. Uh, and then it does a whole screen transition or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Well, shall we debrief? Yes. And let's be brief. The brief, the brief. It was good. Done. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I, I concur. Think we, it was good taking out the Caltron. That was, I mean, that's a big enemy to take out on our own. It did burn through all our ordnance. But like all the MPs and nukes, yeah, that yeah. was that was a really big enemy. Good job on that one, weapons. Thank you. Um, so... So also, that, that one. Oh, and then we took out another one as well, didn't we? Uh, that was a swarm. The other one was a super swarm, yeah. though. But there was one situation uh, where we were like stuck in engagement, and then suddenly a singular enemy was coming at us at high speed, and weapons just had the P shock to finish it before it got pro yeah. annoying. I think this was actually the previous mission, wasn't it? No, it was. But was it? It was a really good move in any case. <laughs> Thank Quick you. Switch and then back. I feel yeah. like this one was more challenging for science. So, yeah, yeah, it was a it was a, a great battle. Yeah, and with all the role playing meta stuff going on around it, that uh, was mm. more challenging for science, definitely. But you held yourself well, uh, kept doing a kept scanning and kept giving us the the shield values that was valuable. Thank you. We yeah. There was a there was a great mirror here with the uh, very first. It, it's a shame that the cadets weren't here for the very first mission of the season. Uh, yeah. Um, we actually were brought to the pass by this exact black hole when we just left in this black hole. It was quite a nice mirror. Classic Star Trek plot where you enter a black hole and get teleported to the past for some reason. <laughs> and then you go back to the future by going to the same plot. Oh, not to the future, but. Uh, we're, we're we're apparently staying in the past for a little longer, but I'm curious to see what will happen next week in this mystery plot. But if you want to find out, you're just going to have to join again next Saturday. And it's going to be a great Saturday. Season finale, I hear. It is a season finale next How week. How is that? Oh. It was... We were trying to make it sound like today was a season finale. 
Oh, no. I see. But actually, <laughs> Rainbow just changed his mind. <laughs> Right, I'm going to go offline again, and I will see everybody after the break. Right. But we'll we'll have another uh, game after this. It will be a simulation, so it won't be part of the story, the canon. But there will be another round, probably a shorter one, given the time. Yeah, let's... Um... Oh, yeah, of course. I'm looking at it thinking we finish at 1am, but we don't. When I get to midnight, it switches to 1am. Oh! You do the yeah. times to clip that one. For us, it happens at 2 a.m. Right. Yeah, for us, it might be 2 a.m. then. Um, um, Captain, question. Uh, this was suggested by Donovan two weeks ago. For the I'll, I'll be, I'll be uh, bowing out then, sorry. All right, no problem. Uh, shall we shuffle the crews completely? Yeah, for the last time. Uh, we could do, and I assume that you would like to take command of a crew. Of one of the crews, doesn't matter which one it is. Yeah, we can do. I'll talk it over with uh, with uh, the senior officers. I'm going to stand down. I'm going to be oh. in. I hope you don't mind. I was uh, being more uh, assertive when uh, you were talking with the fleet. That's fine. Yeah, that was fine. There was nothing untoward going on. Um, and I'm quite tired now. I'm going to go join Piers to uh, tell them how it went great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually went really great. I uh, love that mission. All right, and to the two cadets, thank you for joining us. It was yes. uh, good fun. Thank you for the so, Good. See you next time. See you. User disconnected from your channel. User disconnected from your channel.
How many profiles is Tetra running? I don't know. There's Tetra 2 up there now. There's Lieutenant Tetra here. There's Cadet Tetra there. <laughs> I tell you, there's a major malfunction in the cloning vats. <laughs> Greetings. I'm just wondering how many of the cadets are going to last the last uh, simulation. Greetings, then. Bada up. Yeah, we seem to have Tetra in here, and Cadet Noah is down in Lancer. You know what we need, Blurry? What? What's he doing still down there? I'll get him up here. Blurry, I have a, yeah. I have a request for you. Can you do an entire Christmas album of just you redoing classics? <laughs> Like, I can see Blurry doing, like, Jingle Bells, and, like, all those different I'm not saying bum ba dum ba bum ba bum ba la 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 I do have debrief. Yes. Uh, we are currently warping within this wormhole. Our sensor readings are similar to those of the uh, wormhole that brought us to the past. We don't know what to expect to find on the other end, but we have our theories. We theorized that we are heading to the soul system in the past. The Caltron must have realized that our presence in their timeline is ruining their plans and that they need to destroy Earth in order to prevent them from losing this war. We cannot understand why the reading is coming back with nine planets. Our sensor reading should read Pluto as planet as well. Not a planet. <laughs> and no asteroid belt too. That's that's fairly strange. These readings are strange and we hope the buoy was simply malfunctioning. That's our Where best is hope. the buoy by the way? Uh the buoy seemed to have travelled in front of us to the other side of the uh black hole. Does that mean we have to pick it up? Uh, I think uh, the very first thing that is uh, to do is pick up the sensor buoy. We have lost a couple of them in black holes. Maybe they've wound up there too. That would how be many, funny. How many tethers do we need? All of <laughs> more. Them. We need more. Uh, Kylo I can Ren, confirm we need more of them. I'm, I'm not sure where Tetra 2 came from. I thought I got rid of her. Wait, which one that is the is... evil clone? That is something. No, no, there's an imposter among us. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of Tetra 2 right now. Wait a second. I, wait, I'm honestly wait. not sure which computer that one's connected from. <laughs> oh, you're Tetra 2. <laughs> just, just, oh. it, yeah, not okay. No, they're, they're gonna Tetra come back. Two. You're Tetra 2. Get out no, of here. I'm Tetra 2. <laughs> Tetra Racer 3, reporting for duty. <laughs> And this is where it descends into chaos. All right. We have a final simulation. We do. The uh, the brief for the final simulation is that you're going to be in the Freya system responding to a, uh, a call for assistance. You're going to rendezvous with the TSN ship calling for assistance in Echo 1 near chorus gate in Freya 3 or you'll come out of the chorus gate you'll go to Echo 1 and you will be given information about what they need at that time eyes in the dark one what? moon circles who is treasure crew 2 far away are you uh, Tetra, All right was then. Tetra 2? Was it one of your cadets? Uh, yeah, Tetra 2 was Cadet uh, Jonas, uh, who oh. was uh, had not yet renamed themselves. Oops. <laughs> yeah, right, I Xavier, also did didn't you... realize until after you kicked the account. Can you okay. get them back here, Xavier, please? <laughs> They're in the brig. Are they in the brig? You moved them to the brig. I thought it was you. <laughs> you went... No, no, that was a misunderstanding. I didn't realize myself that I was there again. Uh, apologies for that, Peter Jonas. I did not mean to send you to the brig. All right, uh, head to ships. 
Um, Rainbow, actually, you suggested r mixing up crews. Yes, it'd be fun. Okay, uh, Duty Officers, can you work out different people into different crews very quickly? Before, uh, that, before that happens, may I suggest we alternate our names to Tetra? No. <laughs> that would be brilliant. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's get to ships quickly before we run out of time. Um, okay. Rainbow, uh, I will allow you to command a ship since you requested that once a while ago and I forgot and then you didn't command a ship and then you were horrible to me because it, you felt I'd spurned you and all reasons. that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I'm okay, okay, okay fine. Reason. Fine, we're going to do this. Um, original Tetra, uh, please head to Lancer. Uh, Noah, Saber, Lars, uh, Horizon, Jonas, um, Saber, Swan, Saber as well. Saber. Uh, Chorus, uh, Lancer. Lancer. Uh, Rainbow, Lancer. Okay. Yeah, I. Sorry, Lars. Did I forget about you? No, I said no, uh, I Horizon. Horizon. Horizon, okay. please. Thank you. Bart, Horizon. Ben. Aye. Also Horizon. Uh, Blurry, let's put you on Saber. Um, okay, who do we have now? Huey. Um, Saber. That was. Uh, Tivion, um, Horizon. Aye. Draco, Lancer. Lancer, I. Uh, Fish, are you joining or observing? Observing. Observing. Um, Xavier? I'm just going to observe. On... Observing? Yeah, too tired now. Okay, in that case. After all those shenanigans. <laughs> well, why did Draco go to Lancer without being told to go to. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna head down to, uh, I'm just gonna head down to her. <laughs> um, we just worked out the best. Thank you. I assume this is what we get. I would really prefer to play with the cadets because, you know, they're right here and it's kind of random if I'm on a different ship from everyone okay, else. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll request that we switch with you. Okay, thank you. So what is the situation with the cadets? They're friends of hers. Okay. I'm home! Welcome Petra, back, Blurry. I guess I'm taking your place on the Sabre then, huh? Yes. Okay, thank you, Rainbow, for sorting that. Okay, um... We still have Tetra here. I'm going to move the most Sabre. Someone who has... Um, seniority on this ship to sort oh, out Jesus things. Oh, Jesus Christ. I cannot captain because I don't have any of the Whispers <laughs> no, set up here. No, you say who is captain. Uh... CID to TSN Saber. This is a communications check. Over. Apparently, my whispers are not working, so someone else needs yeah, to. Yeah, same. Uh, uh, you. Sir, excuse me, Saber CIC. Uh, we read you. We're suffering transmission to you problems. Understood. Whoever eventually ends up in charge needs to turn on channel commanders. I can do it. I'm just going to need a minute to set up whispers. I actually do have a numpad. Hang on. Uh, 
Okay. All right, my whispers are all messed up. I cannot do this. So, Captain, we need uh, a segment. Uh. Yui, could you, could you do that for me, please, while I set up whispers? Jonas, Noah, talk to me about your, your experiences thus far. Petra, you want me to take over, Captain? Oh, I was going to do it. I'm just setting up whispers. All right. Uh, this is Lancer Dolchus, who's reported to Lancer and Ready. Our cadets are unresponsive. Uh, sorry. Yes, go. Uh, wait. <laughs> now everyone is talking at the same time, sorry. <laughs> Tell us what stations you would like to try or keep doing. Whatever you want. If it's not that important that it's well done, I would like to do uh, weapons. Weapons is fairly simple. You can't blow up the ship too easily, of your own accord anyway. <laughs> Watch me. Then I'd offer myself to be in charge of the short circuits. So, engineer. Make sure the power non delivery works. You have engineering if you want it. This is TSN Lancer to TSN Saber. Swan, I assume you're sitting on helm. I am now. Unless you want to take it. Is anyone here able to give me channel commanders? I do not have those persimmons. On this account, I do not either. Saber CIC. Negative. Our our Captain Cadet Petra requires uh, the commandiness authorization -y thing. <laughs> nice. I can't remember what it is. Oh, channel commanders. Could you be more specific? What is it? Any any channel commanders. That's it. I don't know that I could do that. I have to have someone who has team speak authority. I don't have team speak authority. Oh, with the CO role, I can do it myself. Thank you. Very good. Very good indeed, I believe. Uh, have we had a station check yet? Remind me. No, Yui, did you want Helm or did you want me to have it? No, you go ahead and sit on it. All right, Helm is ready. That makes Yui Psycom, right? It does. Weapons, you read? CIC2, TSN Saber. This is a communications check, over. Tetra, if you're responding to that, we can't hear you. Weapons, you at the ready? Yes, weapons ready. Engine smearing? We're ready to fuck things up. Privacy invasion and insult smearing and set the ready. All ships stand by for simulation commencement. Tetra, the ship is yours. I will reiterate your transmission to CIC was not received by the ship. CIC Saber's just gotten ready.
I was able to hear that. Oh, yep. Can you hear me now? Uh -huh. Yes. Wonderful. Right, let's see what CIC got for us. Saber to CIC, quick comms check. Crew, did you hear this one? I can yes. hear you. Yes. Thank you, CIC. Wonderful. Looks like the Whisper setup is working. I heard none of the breathing, though. I think it's more or less no CIC one to fleet. here on this ship. So, Go ahead, find out. Oh, Rainbow's fleet coming. With Alpha 96, make contact and find out what the rest of your mission is. Understood. All ships, please follow up with on lines Earth. That's right. Yeah, we went through the... Wait, no. This isn't a continuation. Well, there's no. a ship in distress. Let's we are see responding to the ship in distress. With warp. This is a USFP transport, 2020 shields. It's pretty fragile. Let's see if it wants to blow up on us or something. No alleged armament. Lancer's flag, right? Uh -huh. This is TSM Lancer to Alpha 96. Please come in. This yes. is Alpha 96. We are sure glad that you guys are here. Uh, Alpha 96, you may want to check your communication system so it appears that it's more functioning. Please go ahead. Oh man, everything else is broken. Don't tell me the comms are broken too. Can you hear me? Please repeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alpha 96 calling the TSN Fourth Light Division. Can you hear me? Oh, we can hear you quiet and clear. Nice one, quiet and clear. Our, <laughs> our, our base was taken over by pirates. We need you to go get those people out there and return our mining facilities and our base to their rightful owners. They are in Freya 5. Freya 5, understood. Any information that we should be uh, made aware of? There's just a lot of them. Contacts, Charlie understood, 3. Alpha 96. What have we got? <coughs> Ener uh, engineer, boost the sensors, please. Uh, it appears that we have uh, friendlies coming over here, Alpha 96. Please stay oh, by. Sensors, here boost and let the, the professionals deal with it. Looking like pirates. Horizon, you please respond. Please respond to the Bravo group. Uh, Saber, please report. Saber to Lancer, what's going on? Uh, those were sensor glitches. Ignore them. I want to free a five. <laughs> are we? Uh, are you good to continue with mission in combat? Uh, we are ready. Yep. Thank you. Uh, all ships, please uh, follow up on TSM Lancer and head to supply line. Boost my warp, please. Those sensor glitches are still out there. Those sensor oh, glitches are quiet. soon going to glitch away this station. Oh, you know, that's just a sensor glitch. No worry. <laughs> what is Lancer doing? Can I have maneuver boost, please? Engineering, you know what to do. This is what you do. Yes. Oh, yes. Good luck. Normalize. Yes. I need warp now. So the pirates come, uh, please don't die. That looks like a violent sensor glitch over there at Gate Control and Customs. Jonas, were you introduced to the notion of engineering presets? Uh, this is what I to Saber. If you hit the keys 1 with, through 0, uh, we will recall a preset. Group. 1 through 7 is system, uh, 1 through 7. Horizon, 8 is beams and shields, 9 is both shields, group. 10 is energy about. saving mode. Saber, you have lead. I'll try to uh, give him some hints um, right next to him. I uh, know, you're gonna be good. 
many contacts. I'm seeing a lot of pirates, some Euthini pirates. And I believe that was a transmission from Horizon to us. Lander, please report that you have received your orders. Uh, Lancer Saber, we did not receive our orders. Please repeat them. Uh, you will be you'll be forming a round group with Horizon. Horizon, I believe, you'll be taking care of Fox Rock Group. That's acknowledged. Saber Horizon, we're with you. There appear to be two Foxtrot groups. Saber, this is Horizon confirmed. We are on approach to the first Foxtrot. Copy that. Saber Horizon, tell us what you would have us do. Weapons. Saber, let's do Delta 1 pass to go ahead and start grouping them up. We'll take yep. lead. Weapons Which rig Charlie, have? Charlie, Fox frequency. Rubber. The goal here is to hit as many different enemies as possible with just one beam hit to get their aggro. If we hit them just with shot one fired. shot, that's enough. Then they're gonna be on us, and then you should go tag the next enemy in the same fashion. We have collected all of the foxtrots in this region. Additional Foxtrots are in Delta 1, but I think that's outside our desired area of engagement. Saber Horizon, do you want Golf and Delta as well? That is confirmed. Saber, go ahead and pick them up. Uh, that's acknowledged. Let's go get Delta 63 heading is 0 something. One, zero one nine. Fly by, slap him on the back of the head as we go through. Zero one nine. He's 8k, what? 7k? Oh, 6k. I uh, need warp boost. Normalized maneuver. That's your target. Lock ahead. Weapons, Weapons target two. this guy? Uh, sorry. Um, yes, locked. Shot okay. fired. Okay, okay, we're good. Let's get out. Need warp again. CIC to fleet. Go ahead, CIC. We dropped you a rendezvous Normalize. for Marines. Let us focus fire with Horizon. We're going Central to always base. have the same target as Horizon does and shoot on them with our beams. Delta 1, Delta 2. With the base, followed by the mining facilities. Horizon's targeting Foxtrot. We can go in with beams. Time, I'm going to place rendezvous points out there. Boost beam. Good luck. You should be able to increase your rate of fire by going into manual beams and clicking on your target. Understood. We are uh, taking requesting. Nasty get us out of here. Get us out. Power to warp. Warp is offline. Recommend full into tubes. Shock Boost spam. Impulse. Saber horizon. Our warp is offline. Request assistance. Turn our front towards them. I think we Power have no maneuver. maneuver. We're dead. Right, that's no big deal. This is a simulation after all. You're all terrible! You should uh, never play this game again! Never ever! Right. Uh, engineering apologizes for the misdirection of power, but would also like to note that all the schematics given are neither ANSI nor ISO compliant. Uh, yeah, uh, that so doesn't exist yet, 7,000 years in the uh, past, you know. Delta Group, can you take out Ronnie Wu-1? Saber to CIC? Go ahead, Saber. May we rejoin since we were destroyed? Uh, yes, go right ahead. There may be uh, consequences, but yes, join. Okay, there may be consequences. So, engineering, if you start seeing random system damage, do let us know. That might happen. Uh, let's Will go there, back to Horizon. The direction is 235. Mind the mind Visual. ring. Um, requesting warp boost until we are there. Engineering, you can go ahead and boost the warp. This is... This is Lancer to Saber. Saber, Lancer, go ahead. Can you do a rendezvous too? Uh, that's seat. a negative. We do not have a fighter pilot. I can... I can take that out, but uh, you're going to be out your science. 
That's true. Deborah Lancer, we could do it if you want us to, but we'll need some reshuffling of consoles. I mean, I'm I'm prepared to do it pretty much immediately. Right, fair enough. We have Yui on board. Of course we can do it. Raise the shields. shields. Thank you. Helm, do you not, have the shields. <laughs> do not right. allow these to shoot us in the butt. Yeah, our butt is vulnerable. That's where the warp engines are. Uh, torpedoes on these, uh, Omega 1. All right. Looks like Theseus has taken that rendezvous. Oh, there were others. Uh, torpedoes are loading, requesting uh, torpedo tube boost. Engineering booster tubes. Proteus is away. Godspeed, you eat. Target Lance has no forward shield. Proteus. You need at least one more homing on target. Or two homing, whatever we have first. So yeah, but I don't give them two Torpedo homings or one pisha. Whatever's ready first. Go ahead, Horizon. One more. Another Harry. torpedo. There's a docking ring available in Charlie 4. Thank you. Mind the asteroids now. Repeat the fire. Target destroyed. Saber Horizon, we're still with you. What's next? Saber, this is Horizon. We are going for a resupply. If you need one, you're more than welcome to join us. We don't. What's our status? You saying we don't? Okay, then let us go mop up the Julia and Hotel and uh, no, just Julia and Hotel groups with Delta One passes. So this is once again where we try to hit as many different targets as possible. One shot is sufficient. We're just trying to pull them towards us. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the other ship's Marines. Weapons since... target. Weapons are fired. Feel free. <laughs> Quick target. Perfect. We've got all three of them. Switch to. Make maneuver. Two seconds. Uh, the order is how many torpedoes Normalize. have we left weapons? Um, we have two torpedoes loaded, five left. Order is Omega One. Shoot torpedoes at them. Give me a second. <laughs> Oh, These are pretty fast. Helm, do not bring us towards well, uh, Julia Group. Bring us 090. Uh, Sarah, uh, we have in your group or them apart from you. This direction works too, never mind. I am proceeding to rendezvous 8 with the Marines I took from the other location. You go do that. You, you can make yourself on the your discretion. Boost. Uh, Swan, please repeat. Um, this was the weapon. Stay on the same target with your torpedoes. Yeah. It's better to kill one quickly rather than distributing the damage evenly. This, uh, oh, it's Mercedes. Uh, mistaken my... This should kill him. Uh, only one torpedo left. Use it, and then after the torpedo, let's go in with the beams. We can do P-Shock. Hmm. Need maneuver? Yeah, two seconds. use a P-Shock instead of doing beams. Oh, all right. Yeah, Don't that was... the maneuver. Yeah, yeah shoot them two. with a P-Shock. That should kill them. P-Shock fired. Now P-Shock is fired. That should kill them. Nice. Yui, I would like to have you back after. I've recovered the Marines on my way home. We have Let, Mercedes. Let's go coming. pick up Proteus first, please. Uh, so Proteus pick up. Uh, please boost warp. We are out of combat. 
I'm on intercept course neutral elevation. That's neutral acknowledged. Confirm. Uh, Saber, are you? How how are you? What's your status report? Are you? Able what to is our energy? status? Fifty percent energy, homing dry, from what I heard before. Uh, Lancer, we're fifty percent energy, homing dry, but we do still have heavies. Uh, please take care of Mercedes as your primary target. Mercedes Saber has Lancer, a that's acknowledged. Yeah. Has a shield strength of three hundred. You're going to want an EMP on him. That is indeed true. Please, please load an EMP and also load the nuke uh, weapons. Heads up, it's anti torp. You're going to need a sucker ahead. buddy or to hit it from outside its B mark. Okay, but last order, everything. we are going to need an Still EMP need, and a uh, torpedo weapons instead. Weapons platform six to be returned to Homing drive. PSN control. Uh, and the ringleader of these pirates seems What's to be that in the air now? Weapons? Destroy that ship. The pirates should flee. You've got about weapons? 60 seconds. To yes, sorry. Uh, EMP is loading and torpedo is soon to be loaded. Okay, and what's that that's flying in the oh, air? Oh, sorry, there? we don't have any torpedoes anymore. Use a P shock. The P shock is a bit slower than the EMP, so you're going to have to wait okay. a little bit. Fire the P shock first and then the EMP. You're going to set your beam frequency to echo echo, which doesn't really matter because we're getting EMP at disregard. <laughs> Tell me when you have P shock and EMP loaded. That uh, that is not communicative, but EMP contact. It Target was shields effective. now. Target shields now 150. Horizon coming up the rear. Uh, use P shocks now? on it. You will need three P shocks on target for kill. Say, so Horizon, we're in Lambda. Impulse and warp damage. Loaded. When you get the P-Shocks, you can uh, just shoot them at Mercedes without uh, needing to acknowledge that. P-Shocks fired. It is anti-torp. You're going to be, you're going to want to be firing in pairs. Apparently, the anti-torp is ineffective from what that's I've weird. seen so far. Looks yeah, like it doesn't weird. have the AI to use its anti-torp. Target shields are down to twelve. That was uh, hey, we're a flying shots. We're going to launch nukes danger close. All right, it seems copy that. Unnecessary. I mean, if they want it, they can do it. What weapons should I load? Nothing. I recommend you load EMP nuke. We have a cluster of contacts moving into Freya control that needs immediate attention. Yeah, let's do that. EMP and nuke. But wait, we're firing them. We're going to use them on a different group. EMP and nukes are loaded. Favor, if you can do a, a favor and head towards us to try and draw it into the nukes. EMP EMP and nukes They're going to fizzle before we turn around. Horizon, we were going to go back to Kappa 10 and defend the station. Horizon, please report I mean, it to Command. Horizon, you've got Mercedes then. Helm, bring us back to the station best speed. Boost the uh, right. We've already arrived on warp. target. Boost warp. We cannot use the EMP nuke then. Engineering boost warp, please. Done. We can use mine the EMP mine ring nuke now. on the rear target there. Uh, weapons here, but should I still have the nuke EMP allow that? Uh, yes, but save them for now. We do not want to accidentally hit the station. We're going to do the Delta One passes, so hitting as many targets as possible with just one shot. Shields? Shot fired. Our shuttles are attempting to bring the pirates off of Freya control. I've taunted one, two taunt failures. We keep playing tag, just hit as many different pirates as possible. Three taunt failures. When we're this close to enemy targets, I recommend keeping those shields up. See, I see the fleet. We can also push Freya oh, out of the dangerous way. That works. Congratulations on the simulation. Well done. I guess you that largely works. met All right. the 
largely Nicole met your objectives. Lost one wow. weapons platform, but we returned the other assets to their rightful owners, and the pirates fled. All ships, please, all personnel, please report to briefing room one for ship dismissal. Okay, thank you for flying with us. We don't really have time for a thorough debriefing, but this was fun. Thank you. Come again. All the time. All right, let's head to. Thanks for your patience. I uh, kind of enjoyed time. it. <laughs> no problem. No, I have fun. This is great. Uh, we are in briefing room one. Yeah. See, Pierce, Thanks. you were in command of something. <laughs> yeah, the Theseus. Yeah. <laughs> it was a race! We actually had a race! <laughs> For that one rendezvous. Alright. <laughs> uh... hilarious! Did everyone have fun with that simulation? I yeah. did. It was intended to be fun, so... What about the cadets flying shuttles around? Did anyone? Uh, did any of the cadets get to fly a shuttle around? Uh, regarding cadets, uh, I really enjoyed it today. Uh, I'm sorry I have to leave right now because uh, my trainings are not waiting for me. Uh, but thanks for your patience and thank you that I could play with you. It's really fun. Good flying with you. Good flying. Good flying. Good flying. Good flying. Back next week. Welcome again. Yeah, better but catch your train. Get... Um, you haven't been dismissed yet. <laughs> for... They need to catch the train, so... Well, for, for the cadets, before they leave, Tetra, can you make sure you implant the tracking chip in all of them? Oh, that's already done. Excellent, good. What good. did you do? Wasn't there a T? Oh no, another one? <laughs> another one. <laughs> All right. Um, anything from Oni before we uh, end the shift? No, I think we've got all the debriefs done. Negative. All right. In that case, uh, I hope the cadets enjoyed it and you are more than welcome to join us again uh, next week at the same time. Uh, let's. Finish the shift then, Commander. All right, in. officers of the Terran Stellar Navy, Second Space Fleet, Fourth Light Division, you are dismissed. Good flying, everyone. Good, good flying. Good flying. Good flying. Good flying. User disconnected from your channel. That was it. Oh, that was it. User disconnected from your channel. Flurry. Yes. You saw I got to do all three of them at the same time, and I did. I think it went. Efficiently, I think it went pretty well too. <laughs> I both CC and I went for the same rendezvous. User disconnected I got from it. your channel. He, he also did bad. Did get six channel. enemy damage, but I got seven. <laughs> <laughs> but Blurry no kills. Was, Blurry hey. wasn't confident that I could do helm, captain, and fleet command all at I once. I got a head. Good flying, everyone. Good flying. Right. Good, good flying. flying. User good disconnected flying. from your channel. Uh, yeah, I did. I. I had, I had serious doubts. I still do. <laughs> hey, we survived and we uh, got everything done. Uh, good numbers as well, the shift. That was nice to see. I find it funny because um, Blurry actually went around the minefield while I went basically above it. <laughs> and I still beat User you. Disconnected User from disconnected from, channel. from your channel. Yeah, I know. They don't call me Racer Blurry for nothing. Yeah, but to be honest, I could have been there faster if if I didn't have to switch uh, to my science screen to do uh, a scan on that, meaning my booster on my fighter temporarily went out. Yeah, yeah, it's excuse, excuses. <laughs> Although we both did pretty almost the same amount of damage yeah. to enemies. I don't get to dogfight often. Anyway, have a very that's, that's nice evening, true. everyone. You're not Tetra with Xavier. What? User disconnected yeah, from the channel. Oh. User disconnected from the channel. See you next week. You. <laughs> See ya. User disconnected from your channel. What do you think of this? <laughs> A need for speed award. We should maybe get awards that are like specific to like certain ideas like that, like 
kind of like a, uh, what are they calling names? Like, uh, if you mean like certain specific, I don't know, objectives, you get this award. All right. It'd be fun. It'd be something to look forward to. Like, because right now we don't have anything. Like, once you get your special specialty and stuff. But it'd be fun to have, like, I don't know, kill uh, 10 scarons with one mine. Mm. <laughs> Did you enjoy the shift with a bunch of cadets? It seems to run well. It's good to have a few new ones trying. I, ho I hope one of them is fixed. Yeah, that would be good if we can get that, that change to... from just uh, joining to uh, with a one off to stick in. I think it's one do that. I don't know. Um, oh, I'm quite tired. I'm going to have to go to bed, but it seemed to be a good shift. It was. I'm excited for next week. What do you say? I'm excited for next week. All right, yes. I'll, uh, I'm going to post the data from the uh, sensor buoy onto uh, the uh, theorizing conference thing yeah and we'll see if people can guess what happens anyways i'll uh, be seeing you next week all right see you next week will you be joining us fish next week uh hopefully we'll see well, enjoy your daylight savings or whatever it's called in over there oh, oh god pretty summer time yeah. yeah, I'm gonna see ya. User disconnected from your channel. I, uh... I need to get the Game Master console working on the sandbox now. The more for each second pack into that, the better this sandbox is gonna be. Yep. Yeah. My next phase. That's the next big phase. Uh, don't neglect uh, keyboard keys. And you buy it? Hmm? What do you mean? What? Oh, you mean like if the like spawning something, they press a key and it spawns something, you mean? Uh, potentially, yeah. I mean, I was thinking more like... Um... You know, deleting things that can easily be a key as opposed to click this, click this menu, click that menu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need to be the complexity of the, uh, the very original sound box, but... Um... <laughs> no, I know what you mean. What? Final mm. question. Oh. Can you detect right mouse clicks as well as left mouse clicks? No. Ugh. Really? Yeah, tell me about it. Is there any particular reason for that? No. But it doesn't differentiate. I don't know. Uh, to my mind, that would be something worth having a quick moan about. Mm hmm. It'd be good to be able to get all three mouse. Well, I mean, it detects the scroll wheel. What does it detect mouse uh, scroll wheel click or just the scrolling uh, function? The scrolling part. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a bit weird that it treats them the same. Actually, no. Mm. Link state.
Cinematic Control. Sorry, what was that? Cinematic Control. Sets the values to be used with the Cinematic Console, which requires a 3D view widget and Cinematic equals Camera Mode Tag. Hmm. I have to figure out how to do that because that's my streamer mode. We did you take part in the test? You did, didn't you? Uh, yes. Well, the test that we did yesterday. Ah, uh, no, the test today. No, no, no. I was uh, on the. Oh, yeah, with the cadets. So they complained about the um. Oh, they didn't complain. They didn't like the dock code access. I'm gonna have a rethink of it. But I was a bit like, we shouldn't actually be docking that much. Like you could send a shuttle to get all the ordnance that you need to resupply. Instead of having to dock. Um, and I was also thinking of, I want to make ships more self-sufficient, far more self-sufficient than they are. Um, I want there to be, in your cargo bay, additional ordnance. Yes, I was, interesting, I was having the same thought um, this morning as I was uh, on my walk. Mm. That you could, you know, have in your cargo be racks of ordnance and then they mm -hmm. just need a few minutes to unpack and transfer to the armory. Yeah. So the idea... The, the one that got me onto that idea was... Um, is it Silent Hunter? Do you know the submarine games? Oh, yeah. So when you're playing Silent Hunter, you've got torpedoes stored all over the ship. There's quite a few inside. Then there's so there's some in your torpedo room ready to go, but then there's extra ones in the lower decks, as it were, in your magazine. Yeah. And then there's extra ones that they strap to the outside of the ship itself. Um. And, like, if you wanted access to those torpedoes, you had to surface your submarine, you had to send your crew out, they would sort the torpedo and post it down through a hole in, into the ship so that it was ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of like the idea that ships, not necessarily on the outside, but ships had different stores of torpedoes, and to get access to them, you, you had to... Have them, like you say, unpacked, prepared, and there'll be a, a length of time. Yeah. I also I, it was towards the end of uh, last night, I posted an idea about doing things like upgrading homings to P shocks. And it oh, sort yeah. of kind of struck me that you could upgrade, you know, a number of mines to a cluster mine. Have that mm. transferred to the shuttle bay, being the only place that you can dump it out. Um, and then, you know, the shuttle pilot can, or the whoever's doing the shuttle stuff, can be in charge of launching that. Yeah. You know, and the, the decoys and things like that, and you transferring it from the cargo bay to the shuttle bay, and then launching it. Yes. You've just made me think then. I've See, I've got an updated version of Cosmos, and apparently one of the fixes is mines. Ooh. Just we were having problems with mines, weren't we? Mm-hmm. Mine. Good load. Fire the mine. That one deployed. Right, let's go to walk two. Fire the mine. That one deploy. Ah, yep, mines are deployed. Excellent. Are they going to go off if I fly into them?
as the mines. Oh, yeah, they went off and my server crashed. But my server didn't crash. My server just closed. Interesting. I have to, I have to go to bed. But yeah, that's a, that's a Tom problem, is that one? Mm. See you next time. See you. User disconnected from your channel.